uh, Buddha, please say, um, Ego. Do you need two dollars? Is that why you're asking? No, I just looked over and saw the two dollars, and I was like, why is the two dollars still here? <laughs> what am I doing? He's gonna put it in your bra. There you go. <laughs> I'm joking. Next I can't, I can't do that. I can't get it out of my shirt. Oh, it's in my undershirt. <laughs> <laughs> he got me. Ah. No, 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 no. Or are they just like sent you? Ooh, it's an attack spell. You literally cover people with bananas. It shoots out, it launches out bananas. It's an attack spell, but it's a bunch of sentient bananas just beating the shit out of someone. You need potassium, bro. <laughs> God fucking it. It's like a whole gang of bananas. Just beating the shit out of you. Bro, you need bananas. Mmm, mmm. Working on things. I am working. And doing a work. Oh man, look at that. Working? That's crazy. Sound like one of those rich guys and family guys. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes. yes crazy. Yes, say, yes. Can you bring me my cigar? Yes. Yes. Wait, hold on. You gotta keep going. God damn it. Might as well clip that. Might as well clip that. Please clip that. Snow covered boulders. Look at that. Looky there. Snowballs. Giant. Snowballs. You have to make a snowman of death. A snowman of death? Of death. A snowman of death of death. Of death? Yeah. Of death. <laughs> it's the Soviet National Anthem. Stop! <laughs> Just no. No. <laughs> <laughs> you do the thing, and, and you, you do, do it right, right. And, and you, you don't, don't fuck it up. up. It, it works. works. It, it just works. works. <laughs> Slap it on my bum. <laughs> Keep oh, that shit, shit in for the whole day. <laughs> Fucking press the clip button, please. <laughs> Oh, then Gavis, oh my god, let me get the Gavis in the front. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, if you just go right there and you go over there and you go get that gate, you go past Crawfish Bowl and you go to mm, everybody loves Crawfish Bowl. You go over oh, Mama's and right there, yeah. You know, right there, yeah. Go ahead, girl. Sherry. Everyone's like, what? Is he even saying English? She clipped that shit. Tab over and clip that. Exactly. It's a strategic play, bro, and you're not going to do it. I bet you want to ride you later. Exactly. I want $94, and I'll oh. do it. Okay. Alright. Might as well just, like, in the end. Tell him it's faster. You're not getting it for a dollar. <laughs> thing that he actually sells in his shop is a mini shovel. 
That's it? Yeah. That's the only thing that's actually in his shop processing. Oh. It's a fucking mini shovel. Of course it is. We should probably add more to that. It's an alchemy shop is a problem. We don't have like any alchemic items. Oh, hello, Brandon's chest. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I have missed a good few streams and have not play tested the game in a long time. And the last thing I remember us working on with me on stream is Shark Church. God damn it. Followed by Circling. <laughs> not in the crucible. Why does it keep appearing? <laughs> Adam, stop it! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh, Charlie's play is CS2. Good for him. They are, each other. I'm you know, like, pathetic. Oof. Also, fun fact, uh, Michael is Brandon's boss, so just be, be... Right now, right now, Michael's <laughs> just, just, uh... Selling my last <laughs> It's funnier than it should be. Fucking <laughs> clip that, please. Go turn on the event. Yeah. <laughs> Look, it, it looks better now. Yay! And I'll just hold control to run through it. Really bad and loud. That's back before Twitch banned music. Gotta get the hype going, you're right. Gotta get the hype. Gotta get the hype. I also appreciate any time gotta get the hype. you gotta get know the where hype. to reach out. Gotta get the hype. Gotta get the hype. Gotta get the hype. Now you see him? Nice. Nice. But you see. see him. Nice. You gotta be a cheer. You gotta get the hype. <laughs> gotta get the hype. Gotta get the hype. <laughs> Brother. Uh, Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. <laughs> Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. Stop by on Tuesday nights for Unhinged. Ticket price is now only zero dollars and zero cents. Zero! Just as long as you pay your internet bill. Yeah, fair. Please pay your internet bill. Please. Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. Tuesday. <laughs> the seams. Hello for everyone. Hello? <laughs> hey, <laughs> he resets the
Goodbye. <laughs> Hello, Another everyone, and timer. welcome to Unhinged. My name is Adam. And no one ever wants to continue that on. This is no. Brandon. He's reading from a script, by the way. And, and that's Elijah. I am not reading from a script. <laughs> it sounds like. Every time. That's Elijah, and this is Brandon. Where's the other guy? What other guy are we talking about here? Uh, 1063. Oh, Buddha. Buddha we talking about Buddha? Buddha got, got hitched. So. Yeah, Buddha just, Buddha just got married, so he's doing his thing. He's never going to show up again. Um, we lost him. He also him. works weird hours. <laughs> um, Tyler just, is just hang on. Yeah, Tyler gone. Oh, no. Yeah, um, right? I swear to God that says a vegan only from this angle. It does. Everything says <laughs> vegan only. Uh, okay, so you should probably just save over file. I was gonna say if you want to just save over file eight. There we go. File six. Right, file then. six. Okay. I'll fix it. Don't worry. I'll remake it correctly. I added all those items in level back, so it's got those. Did you add my monies? I have not added money yet. I would love to have monies. My two thousand dollars would be great. Commands. So, um, as you can see, everybody, we are uh, 149 out of 150 Where followers. It? Where is it? All one of you. 1063 is our only viewer right now. Adam just wants an excuse to drink. He does. That is not true. That's very true. <laughs> I'll drink anyway. <laughs> I don't need I think that's a different problem. <laughs> anyway, thank you, 1063, for being here. We appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, 1063. So, uh... Pretty fly for a white guy. Uh, see the one, yeah. I don't want to watch the stream. Uh, yeah. I, I, I I'm don't... talking to myself. I'm sorry. Damn. Anyway, um, welcome to Unhinged. How was everybody's weekend? Again, all one of you. How was your weekend, 1063? Was it good? Was it a fantabulous weekend? I hope it was. Is there a delay? About two seconds, bye. Knock out your demo. Cool, cool. Uh, demos are cool. You like demos? What the fuck uh, is going on here? I don't know. Do I really have to do this on a fucking computer because it fucking blows? Is that why? There you go. Oh, I hate this so much. Why does it do Got this? You. Fuck. What'd you do? What's happening? I changed his character. I'm well, not that. Why are you opening and closing a bunch of drawers? What, what are you doing? Why Why do you need this? It's nice. Damn. Nope, I have to do it on here. It, that's fine. I'll do it. Whatever. Get, get on. That, that's not what I wanted. I feel like that's not even the one that goes on this. That's not guess. what I wanted. To push it on the me for this I was working on it and you took it from me. Too. I'm gonna Give take more from you. Actual shit. <laughs> what is happening over there? I don't know. What are you doing? I'm doing what I want to do. Fuck you. Alright. Anyway, everybody, uh, welcome. Um, we, we still got just the, uh, want to see my title screen? Sure. Yes, that'd be cool. I'm down. How do we see that? Can you post links in chat? Yeah. It better be a link to the Rick Roll video or I'm going to be really upset. It's not. Come on, sucks. Not a Rick Roll. Sorry, not. Check my Is title screen for his game? Is that what we're watching yes. here? Word I can't pronounce cowboy. <laughs> nice. Nice. Sekai cowboy. 
Cool. Very nice, how much? I like how it's animated. That is very nice. We are fans of animated title screens as well. <gasps> Cowboy from another world. Ooh, fancy. Yeah, that's, that's what he's sick guy. So, so it's Han Solo. Got it. I'm in. I did it. We did it, You chat. son of a bitch. I'm in. We did it. There's the button I wanted. Ah. Hey, hey, we got a sub! Yeah. Does that do all three of us? Oh, I'm the center one now. Yeah. Here we go. <coughs> we got a high five. Yeah. We didn't do the booter cam for that. It's fine. It's, it's okay. Do we need to do it again? No, but we need to change the camera thing. Yay, sub. Welcome. Thank you. That's why I was like, I really have to fucking do this on a computer, and apparently I have to do this on a computer, because I have Prime. I just can't do it from the fucking app. It refuses to let me do it from the app, period. It's and I'm stupid. like, are you kidding me? Stupid. It is really stupid. Cool. But there we go. I, that's what I was trying to do earlier, and I couldn't get it to work, so I figured whatever. Yeah. Now I get to log out. Hey, I'm not your DoorDash or Amy is appearing yeah, with your, it with your order. It like, which it just automatically fills in. Isn't that the correct password? Is it going to work? How do you know it's not correct password? Because that's not the right account. <laughs> I log into Onion just so that I can control other stuff about the stream on that PC if I want to. Well, this is this PC. I know. It, it's all the same account, so we can oh, be the moderator. We God. can do this kind of stuff. Gotcha. Yeah, this, uh, this kind of stuff. Gotcha. There we go. That's nice. Those there's are the, the buttons food. that we want. And yeah. there's the food, yes. Yeah, that's why I keep it logged in. Are you sub to 1063? Because if you ain't. 1063 is not sub. No, I meant following. Oh, followed? I'm not sure. <coughs> Excuse me. He's probably the only one watching. Where's our Where's our moderator from down south? Uh, Ryan has to work tonight. He said he's going to try to watch us when he you can. You kidding me? This is his job! <laughs> right? That's another reason we need to keep so this is going to be flatlined. If we see something crazy in chat, usually it auto-holds it and we can get it here. But if we see something crazy, it's fine. I hate to tell you this, I really do. But uh, it's, not gonna get, it's not going to get crazy. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm trying to full screen it. It doesn't want to full screen it. Sorry. Why does it need to be full screen? Are we on this is computer? It, is it watching? Yes. It well, we have to kind of... Pick back up where we left off because they yeah. fixed a bunch of shit, and then they so fixed a, a bunch of shit. I don't remember what I was supposed to do. Uh oh, you gotta go out and talk to um, talk to the guy. There's no. Because remember, it's there. the part that you didn't get to do last time, so you have to explore the forest. You didn't actually get to do this last. This time. forest? Yes. Oh. Why didn't I get to do this last time? Because it was Because you went in the house first, and you weren't supposed to be able to. That's really funny. Should I have tested to see if I can go back? Uh, sure. How? I'm getting... Such a nice chap. Such a nice lad. Absolute mad lad, as they say. Yeah, that's because you chose a nice option. There's, uh, you can also heat it up if you want to. Oh, you, you know you like to heat it up. If you choose a bad option, then uh, you, you start basically threatening him, and he's like, "Yo, this is not the house I want. Tis this house." It is also not this house. Psych. Gotch fooled ya. Chat. Yeah. It's this house. Uh, it fuck. is well, actively locked. It up. Is it this house? No, no it was the house that was locked. It was locked. this one. Uh, something didn't get flipped for some reason. Um, debug screen. Debug. 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 It wanted. It wanted to start four. 
Why I also did, want to know why, why didn't we Jared start four? Yeah. So f what forest, right? Forest. Down. forest. So which path did you take? What did you do? Who are you? I said, who are you? Okay, so when, who are you? Comet, nice option. Uh, yeah, that's... Uh, Alignment plus two? That's a, that's a rip in chat. Um, come back tomorrow, turn star five goes on. So why did five not do anything? It definitely changed the time of day. Yeah. Um, actually, you know what I should do? Is... Every time you go back in there, is it nighttime? Probably. I'll just do... So if it's supposed to trigger Jared start five, then why didn't it? Or, it, or did it, and it's it just not four. doing it? So why does it want four? Why does it want four? That's what I told the door. But so what's five There's, supposed to be? Uh, They're Kelly both. said we're never getting KFC again. Why? Because well, she's missing half her order again. Oh, yeah. Yep, the coleslaw and the cookie and, like, the stuff in the fill-up box is not in a box, it's in a bowl, so you don't want to report that. But only Kelly's stuff is missing. Well, that's it's really stupid. What was it? I'm hoping maybe it'll be in, like, nope. the bar for some reason. I looked in all of them. Got it. That sucks. Alright, somebody got some chicken. Um, yeah, two pieces. Yes. First, so this is our Dasher, fine. Dasher was perfect. She was great. Well, we made some jokes character. up there and everything. KFC, two stars. Um, you can actually go on the order and report. Hello, what weird six six three. What's up? I, I might be able to pick up like Culver's next time, that way we don't have to deal with that. Sweet. Uh, Culver's down the road. The famous bowl? Is that hers? Uh, it's the $5 fill up. That's probably Plus the extra coleslaw. So she didn't get that, and then she got a Sierra Mist, but she's missing the cookie. She only got the bowl there. Okay. There's no way to tell it that there's no cookie. But the coleslaw was missing. Again. Oh. Would you get to drink? Syrup mist. Oh, so mine's obviously. Yes. yes. Kelly also got that. So. Oh, just like, this three stick here. Uh, you can do it. I would love it. And there goes my whole lid. <laughs> yeah, right. We want to really like two of these so I can create what is called a coaster. Anybody watch the uh, n newest season of Rick and Morty? Yes. Haven't finished it. Uh, weird six six three said hello. Yep. How did you come up with your name? Uh, actually, so Unhinged started because we were originally going to do sketch comedy. And we and were going to be crazy off the cuff. We were going to be Unhinged. Yeah. But then we are like, you know, it's still a cool name and we really want to do game dev. So then we're, then I we mean, were we thinking, were working on game dev anyways. Yeah. But we started to, just, we were like, hey, we should stream it to keep us, like, motivated to, to do it. So. That's a good idea. At that point, we are like, hey, so should it be, like, its own thing or should we do, like, a show within the show? Like tool time and like now let's just make it the entire thing so god i remember tool time dude yeah who could be also i have no barbecue sauce even though i asked for barbecue sauce i didn't know there was an option but 
<laughs> cool, we got three dollar and seventy-three cent refund. Yay. One weird one. Six six three equals one weird one. People's oh, usernames are always quite interesting. Um, so now, I'll like, uh, at this point, I can technically... Can't you just uh, flip the switch? Yeah. Did you remember the number? Well, it, it'll be easy. Oh, did you get, actually get to see the cutscene this time? Yes. Yep, partially. It didn't work correctly, but yeah. Well, the cutscene worked fine. Oh, it was 153. I'm so good. Yeah. yeah and then you close God it. God damn it. And then you kill it. What are you doing? Fucking things up, apparently. Why? He I went in to flip to. a switch, and instead of going back with the escape button, he closed the thing. I'm so used to closing stuff because of the uh, engine. But now... Oh, shit. And wait, how did you fix her, his... Uh, oh, character? go back in the house. Go back. Ah! Walk up into that house that you came out of. Into the house? Yep. And then back out. And back out of the house. There you go. Cool. Oh, also, I put a self switch on that, so I can't do it again. Oh, oh shit. That's nice. It's a one-time thing. Well, that's good. So, if someone's already set like that, mm -hmm. normally, they'd never notice. Yeah. I can technically keep it there. Cool. It's weird. So, this should also work correctly this time. Okay. Well, that's a good test, then. Also, we can take a minute. We don't. We don't have to test this right now. That's true. Um. Okay. Oh. Is this made tile set or did you create it? Um, a little bit of both. Um, multiple tree tile sets, multiple tree styles. Did you found those right? So. <clears throat> um. I found some of them, but then modified others. Mm. So, it's a culmination. Like Most of our tile sets are culminations of pre-made and custom. Plus, we've made a few tiles. We're not really good artists, so like we just kind of make what tiles we need at the time. We're like, ah, uh, let's put something together to make it fit. We're not good artists. We're decent in Photoshop. Both of Brandon and I have, like, a thousand hours in Photoshop each, at least. Probably closer to 2,000 now. Just that thousand is what I counted after high school. Mm. Anyway. Um, so, we're usually good enough in Photoshop to, to mo modify stuff that we need. Um, so, yeah, we modify existing tiles. Come up with what we want. Yeah. It's always easier for Photoshop if you have something to work off of. Mm -hmm. You don't have to draw anything new. You don't have to. Yeah. Editing pics is, is fine. Drawing new stuff, not fine. Not fine. Not for me. No, not for us. Elijah, can you draw? My dad can. My sister can. Okay. In all actuality, what can't your dad do? That's also a true statement. <laughs> because I have known your family for such a long time and your dad has done everything. Yep. This is basically carbonated water. There's no syrup in the syrup. Let's bite them. I, I don't know. I don't like our KFC. I don't like our Taco Bell. I don't like our... And you fast say, food. I hate everything. I just don't like... Niles Fast Food, we have everything, but it's not good. We don't have everything. We have the bare minimum. What do we have in Niles? Let's see what we got. McDonald's, Taco Bell, Burger King, mm -hmm. KFC, Arby's, Arby's, Culver's, Culver's, Wendy's. Culver's is Wendy's. new, so that one's decent still. Yeah. Um, the Wendy's got better. Yeah. After the facelift. And then... Long John's. 
Long John Silver's, thank you. you. Other than that, we have a bunch of local restaurants that are never fucking open. Yeah. Prime Table's great. It is. When they're open. When they're open. Oh, yeah. Half the time, no one's opened on their posted hours. Because no one has people. That's a global hey, thing. That's not even... I went to... That's not a this year thing. That's a forever in time thing. Burger King is severely down people. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. We went through, uh, me and Abby went through. Our Burger King's about the to Burger shut King down. The Burger King line? Yeah. There were two people working. Mm -hmm. yep. Um, friends. Long time friends. Close enough to family. Since we were like this big. Yeah. yeah. We all know each other from back in the day. Like first grade, kindergarten ish. I've known Elijah for probably longer than I knew you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Does your dad still have all those fish tanks in the basement? Uh, so my dad uh, has moved from the ocean to the stars. Uh huh. So he's really into telescopes, and he just bought a fifteen thousand dollar telescope. Good for him. Uh, I guess. So the only fish he has is that first showroom. Oh, okay. Once you turn the corner, all that is model trains. Is there anything your dad isn't, like, into? Huh. Uh, uh, right? Uh, yeah, right? <clears throat> That's... What? Fair. I don't get it. They're not divorced, but they're, they're divorced. Oh, okay. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Sorry to hear that, man. I mean... I've grown up that way. Oh, it's been like that? Yeah. Oh, I never noticed. I, my dad's always there, but he's not there. Oh, okay, yeah. My dad never raised me, but he was always around. Hmm. Interesting. Well, like Buddha's wedding. His mom was there. My dad wasn't there. I remember the last day I went over to your house. Do you remember the last day? What'd you do? Um, what, what happened in this day? I picked up a weapon in Super Smash Bros. Melee <laughs> while playing the character Link. Oh, and I was you told me this subsequently story. beaten with a Wii remote. <laughs> You've told me this story before. Um, sorry, Weird well, 663. This is... That was funny. This is um, Lost Legend. This is our, our video game that we're making. This is our friend Elijah, who is not has not been part of the development process, though, uh, but he has recently been part of the bug testing process. Because he's not been part of the development, he's a perfect person to bug test. That's true. There's more This is here. Brandon. Oh, yeah, here. This, thank is, you. this is me. Brandon and I, Brandon mostly, uh, have done the work on this game. I mean, honestly, and, I'll do uh, whatever you need me to do. Um, one. Got it. Finish the I game. I apologize Bye. about beating you. Oh, no, you're fine. <laughs> I still uh, laugh about it all the time. It was it was a great experience. I'm Two. on console. It's not a bad experience. I'm on console. It really isn't. I uh, I had some issues. <laughs> if you couldn't right. tell, it was great. It was it was a great experience. I'm glad mm -hmm. you had a laugh because I. I vaguely remember you just laughing about the whole scenario. Well, because because after I picked up the weapon and fired at you, I think I knocked you off and you died because I was using it to edge guard you. Mm -hmm. And you went, Link's not supposed to use weapons. I'm like, it's in the game. And then you got up, you grabbed it, you whipped it at me, and then you ran upstairs. And that was the last time I was over. <laughs> it was really funny. Oh, man. Yeah, man. Remember those times when when we crawled around on top of your roof for like no reason? Yep, I remember that. Why do we do that? No idea. <laughs> mm. We thought we were cool, I guess. Weird six. Hey, hey. Weird six six three. Thank Adam you gets so a much drink now for being our one hundred and fiftieth oh, follower. Oh man, Adam's so happy about this. I'm also happy, but yeah, yeah. Adam is more so happy. Yeah. God damn it. Um. Anyway, storyline. <laughs> You're 150th follower. Thank Yay, you. Yay! Thank you so much, man. Um. We don't have a confetti thing. You uh, uh, did it go off? It might have. I don't. I didn't you want some dick? Up. 
What's going on? Oh, it still says 149. What the fuck? It didn't do it. Did he unfollow immediately afterwards? As unfollow and follow again. Um, that would be really funny. I don't know if it just has to be on that screen or what. That's weird. Anyway, um, so there are people called alchemists who can control elements of the world. Every element. <sighs> oh, something in my throat. I mean, it sounds like magic, but more rules. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, God, wow. something my throat. <laughs> it sounds heavily inspired by one of my favorite <laughs> shows ever. It's great. I love Full Metal Alchemist. I literally have the full manga set right here. Sweet. I have every single Blu ray. I own the entire series. Good. It's a good show. Times. I know. It's a good show. <laughs> I have the pocket watch. Do you really? Uh-huh. I have... Uh, My dog toy is a, is a pocket watch. My dog's toy. Ish. It's a rip-off of the yeah. pocket watch. Brandon is better. I have the actual pocket watch. I know. Um, I have the symbol on the back of the coat as a necklace. Nice. And then I have uh, Edward's ring that he yep. sometimes wears. Um... You're like, yeah, I got a metal suit in back. <laughs> alchemy is like, alchemy is like a combination of benders from Avatar: The Last Airbender and Full Metal Alchemist. Oh, oh, I do have, I have the autograph from Edward's English voice actor. Really? Uh huh. I met him in person. How was he? Uh, he was very bubbly and fun. Sweet. And he definitely wanted me. Like he was like. Well, I'm glad you saw me and definitely like come out see me again. Like he, they wanted to like hang out Sweet. a little bit. So I was like, okay. Rather than just being like a douchey famous guy. Which yeah. Is always nice. Yeah. One girl, uh, apparently the day I met him was his birthday. Hell yeah. I didn't know it was his birthday, but one girl in the line brought him a gift for his birthday. That's cool. So he had a a uh, custom made like whatever she gave him. I like how we're not telling the story. That's because we're too no, we're, talking about we're a really having a, a side <laughs> conversation that now that you're now I'm on a tangent because I really yeah. like Full Metal. It's <laughs> good. Around, I love the show too. Just bring the background and explain the storyline of Lost Legend to, to Weird Six Six Three. The storyline. All right. So there's this girl. You know, she she's angry. Uh, angry that her parents died. Mm. As as she should. Be. Uh, because of an alchemist. So she goes on a revenge quest. To uh, murder alchemist as one does. There's a lot of blood. Um, there is a lot of blood. She literally just mashes them to a point. And blood during, it's really cool to watch. During her adventure, she learns new things, meets new people, has and changes uh, in her life. Can you, you know, can you tell what the twist is? Discovers. <laughs> Shut up. Discovers, uh, you know, who is really corrupt in the world, not the alchemist <laughs> as she so hates. And, uh... Has a change of heart? It definitely has a change of heart, and... Can you guess why? Uh, the helps truth, the world. Learns the truth about what actually happened that night. That too. Um... Yeah, very cool. And she's hot. That helps. Adam has a problem. You have to excuse him. He hasn't had his alcohol yet. <laughs> God damn it. Are you done with your food? I mean, even when Adam has alcohol, he's like this. That's also a true statement. I didn't say it was going to help. Until I, I get it. Until <laughs> I, there is a certain point where I'm like a homeostasis of alcohol. That's not good. <laughs> you are explaining things that don't help. No, it was very good. I sat there and made animated tiles the entire night. I just sat there hunched over, barely conscious. Here, just I'll, drawing show, the, I'll show yeah. you the tiles. Yeah, just drawing yeah, the that's, tiles. Yeah, that's not, that's not necessarily a <clears throat> So. And Brandon's just sitting there the whole time like, good, that looks really good, buddy. They're looking so good. They look amazing. So these little great tiles, they're animated when uh, it's actually playing. And so it looks like the water is actually going through the grate. Yeah, they do. He made that from Those, scratch. Yeah. Nice. Well, ish. 
I took the the like wall tile <clears throat> and I took the water that was there. And I, I had to like fix I know. the animation, but you you had the two things and then you just made it an animated yeah, tile. Well, yeah, because I had to work around the actual bars of the grate with the animation. But yeah. Um, anyway, yeah, I got drunk to the point where I was just sitting there like. And then by the t we got done and Brandon's like, they look really good, man. You did a really good job. I'm like, thanks. I'm Control gonna take a nap. Alt F4. Good night. I just Literally. passed out on his mattress in there. Didn't didn't change clothes. <laughs> didn't turn the light off. Didn't, didn't get a blanket. Up, nothing. Just oh, yeah. laid down. I literally and just gone. yeah. <laughs> Boom. It's Brandon called a alcohol. <laughs> you know. <laughs> I vaguely remember Brandon be like, "Okay, well it's kind of hot, so I'm gonna open the window and I'm gonna shut the light." And he just kind of. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Meanwhile, and of course, it sounds like it's like an echo from the next room as he's talking. Everything's just getting up. Like, hey, <laughs> yeah, that's. I don't think that's a good thing. Let's be real. Um, you kid yourself. There he goes. <laughs> we have to celebrate. We're not getting wrecked. We're having a celebratory glass. You're damn right. I'm not getting wrecked, but you probably will be. <laughs> I am not. I promised Brandon I wouldn't. Otherwise, he'll kill me. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> oh, that was a bug. Cool bug. What? So, after I'm done talking with him, is it supposed to make pillars of water everywhere? Because it totally made pillars of water everywhere. Uh, he... Based on what he says, like, he says, like, now go, and he shoots water. Well, I did the nice one. No. And he does pillars on the nice one. Adam program that one, so I don't... Well, he also, like, d he also fix it really weirdly. Instead of... Because it's supposed to start... It's supposed to do his start four, but it apparently it want it wants four, but does five or something. So he had to add... He just added the other one next to it. So it does four and five. Oh. Okay, well, I'll fix that. I don't... <laughs> Moment of truth. Hey, -o. We're in. Now we can do that. Yay! Would you like to sleep? Absolutely. Of course! But yeah, this one great tile that we've used nowhere else. <sighs> Yay. Can we even show this on stream? Yeah. Remember we looked at this. So I was gonna do anything. Getting drunk is fine, or not even drinking on stream is fine. Doing illegal things is not. Doing illegal things is not. <sighs> yes. That's right. What do you? Are you doing illegal things? We're not. Are you sure? That was everyone's worry. Is like, yes, you can drink on stream. Gunners need needs to see some ID, Adam. This isn't a porn. Wait, why did you instantly go there? <laughs> it's, it's also Are alcohol. You good? I've got some problems there. You good? Well, we're now. He's got it. Right Why are you pressuring him? We gotta make sure we pull the cork off on camera. Why? Our 150th sob, damn! God, oh, Adam's got I'm sorry. a lot of issues, guys. He's got many issues. Many, many issues. All of them stem from... Stems, I guess. All of them stem. All of them childhood. stem. childhood. Sad if you actively bust something up. Yeah, 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 there we go. Ooh. It worked. 
That worked, huh? The blue flowers worked. <laughs> wow. Good. Yay. That's crazy. Well, I'm just pointing. I'm just saying it's good that it what didn't work and now actually actively does work. My red scarf has been returned. All right, guys. Can I have my monies? No. Oh yeah. Um, press F nine. Okay. Um, Elijah, real fast. <laughs> oh yeah. To uh, one hundred and fifty followers. Yay, Elijah's not normally part of this. He's happy to be here. I'm just happy to be here. Yay. God, I hate alcohol. It literally tastes like sparkling. No, it doesn't. Here's Adam chugging. I don't destroy my body every day with alcohol, Adam. I'm sorry. I also Neither like Moscatos, so... I have, like, a drink occasionally. <laughs> I get it. I don't do that anymore, okay? <laughs> but you did at one time. I did at one time, yes, and I've gotten the scar better. scar tissue's there. But instead... Because... Instead, <laughs> instead of celebrating and congratulating me that I've gotten better, you're just like, yeah, you're an alcoholic. Bitch, not anymore! I've done, I'm, I'm good now! What was that? Yay! Hey, oh! It finally did it! I'll drink to that. <laughs> he's like, okay. I'm! Someone, and he subbed too. Apparently, someone, uh. Apparently, that other last one didn't go through. Woo! Nice! I guess you're the number one victim. Someone must have unfollowed or something. Either way, yay! Yay! Thank you. Yes, thank you very much. Also, if you if you ever want me to do anything other than just test, I can. That's yeah. That's what, what would you like to do? Oh, I don't care. I I do have you know computer training. Well, would I you went like to college to for a little bit. Oh, so did I. Yeah. Doesn't mean college helped. No, it didn't. I'm not saying it did. <laughs> it I'm just do saying. Much. Mainly, it just uh, mainly it just you know made a mark in his bank account. Really. <laughs> you goddamn right it did. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, I mean, I can, I can help. I like how Brandon is keeping the wine there, so I can't grab it on purpose, which I'm not gonna. What? He's keeping the wine there, so that if I were to reach, it can go. Yeah, so you don't fucking chug it on stream. Would, would you like this? The cork it back up? Also, it's only a 2020. Like it, it needs to be aged a little bit. 2020. You I got what a I could 2020? get. Yeah. Like I got it's, what I could it's get. not even aged for like even barely a year. <laughs> But it's our 150th! Yeah. yeah. Like our I'll two... get something nice when we release the game, okay? Yeah. It's fucking Actually better. Actually nice. I like how if I bring this and he's like, fine, whatever. This isn't like... But then then it's like, it's not good enough. For, for when we release the game, you better actually bring some proper liquor. I'll bring some fucking like 1950s scotch, all right? Whoa. Jesus Christ! I don't know if I can do that. I don't know. If you I bring, if you bring like either. a, if you bring like a flavored vodka, I might be able to do a shot of that. But if it's moonshine, I'm, I will spit it out on you. I have some apple pie moonshine. Fuck no. <laughs> it's, it's been aging for uh, quite some yeah. time. Yeah. Oh. How about no? <laughs> <laughs> I can't handle that amount of alcohol. That's not. Uh, Five-ish years now. Fuck. Highest. Uh, I can do like kissed, I can do like Smirnoff kissed caramel. I can do Fireball whiskey. I can do Fireball. All Fireball's day. great, man. <laughs> I can, do fireball I can totally. Day. I can totally do that. Uh, I... Ooh. Physical button. It still doesn't. I'm not alchemist, alchemist, but I have. That's weird. That's really weird that it didn't 80% success? What is this? Hit him in the face! Huh. I'm very what confused. is triple attack? He still gets to go first because he's not going to see cheats. No, he's speed tight. Ooh, that was pretty awesome. What, um, what level is the lowest um, alchemy attack? Can you check the database for that one? Ooh! <laughs> Dude, I'm at least happy I get to do other shit. <laughs> like, fucking 
Boom! Look at those are some numbers, my guy. Oh, Wait, better do I have to re-equip my sword? Shit, did I? Level six. It should also go check his as well and make sure that um, it actually. Also, I'll get it after him. this fight because I level after this fight. Anyway. Make sure it also. It, well, no, because I gave you burn yeah. automatically for that fight on purpose. Can you go check? Yeah, let's uh, go burn. Yeah. And I did it also in the event too. Uh, level five. Burn. So none of these use. None of these sword abilities use AP? Yeah, we haven't touched AP. Oh, I was yet. just wondering. <clears throat> for they the moment. probably will. But well, they should. Yeah, they totally should. They, just like we said, where combat isn't balanced yet. Yeah, I know. So. It definitely seems a lot more balanced. Like, he wasn't, like, doing 200 damage yeah, ahead. But we just added more moves for you to do instead of basic uh, attacks. Yeah, we're going to lend a hand because we're going to go down the route to bug fix better. Can you check his event on that day? But anyway. victory theme. No, 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 no. Yeah, but, any, yeah, but no, anyway. Yeah, but anyway. I need to add. Yeah, the, but, batter, the battle theme itself is different, don't worry. What am I supposed to fucking do now? Go to the boat. There's no one at the boat? I'll just click on the boat. Yeah, okay. Oh, I have to just walk onto the dock. Yeah. Gotcha. Uh. I mean, what I was what I was saying, but what we are saying last time before we got distracted. I do have some experience coding, and I am a fast yeah. learner. So if you happen to want someone, a third person to be able to work on it, yeah. I have no problem doing that. You it said entire party, it needs to be Catherine. Okay. Learn. Burn. But she should also learn burn at level 5 now instead of level 6. And I don't know why you said it to level 6. Hey, I'm actually <clears throat> on the boat. I'm gonna use those flowers to redye my hair. Yay! It should be red. But what the fuck? You weren't holding control, were you? Nope. You can just walk on. Woohoo! God mode, baby. What the fuck? I yeah. am now a god. I I know exactly what Thru got put on. Yep. Why did that happen? Uh, Thru is on. Yeah, but I don't know what from. I can't. Turn it off. Uh, you can turn it off on the debug menu. Oh, okay. I don't know why. It got you don't know how it turned on. on is the question. Yeah. Why am I God? I don't know. Um, I should be able to turn off through. We. How would you? I don't think I can turn off through in the debug menu. No. So we got to figure out why it's on <coughs> now. Uh-oh. Yeah. Problem is it's going to save you with through on. I'm surprised you can't turn it off from here. Yeah, I'm surprised too. That was the tree. So basically, I, I was on. Doesn't get reset. Right here. Okay. It's not a switch, is it? No. no. Or a variable? No, it's a built-in thing to the player itself. Oh. Um, hold on. I can fix something here. Also, Captain Wiley should not be walking. He should be fixed right there. So that way he doesn't move around. Here we go. We got you, Elijah. Second page, control movement rope. What? So he's... Oh. Forgot to change the fucking thing. There we go. You'll have to save and exit. Okay. <coughs> I already did, so. Yeah, exit the, um... You'll have to exit, like, Everything. It's oh gotta, yeah, 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 yeah. It's gotta yeah, update yeah. for a second. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh shit. Uh, this one. This button. Cool. 
Uh, you'll talk to this barrel. Yep. <laughs> Got it. Oh, you put it on the barrel? Lol. <laughs> So you just, you just put a toggle on the barrel, gotcha. Yeah, yeah it sets through off. We we do that kind of stuff a lot. Um, more so we do it at the beginning of the game so that we can just skip around without having to go through the whole debug menu every time. Brandon Makes Messenger. I, I got that. What? I Thanks, Michael. Michael joined the stream to oh. tell me to go into Messenger, which I just got at the same time. Wow. <laughs> wow, you know, you don't have to join the stream to tell Brandon stuff. You can just join on your own accord. Why Michael, would you do that? So you know. I don't know why you would do that. Why in the world would you do that? Hey look, we got five viewers. How is everybody's week going? How is everyone's weekend? For those of you that are off on uh, Saturday, Sunday or Monday. <clears throat> How is everyone? Great. That's good, D757 Gaming. We're glad that you had a good weekend. I was at Hacienda eating. I see. Oh, I gotta go get the card. I'll be back. Okay. Well, Elijah, you can go back to playtesting. Because uh, you're updated now. Hacienda. It's a party. Because that's what Hacienda means. Okay, we're going to talk to Beryl, and then we can't leave. Cool. He is still walking around, Adam. Oh, that's weird. I wonder if he didn't save that part. Oh, because he got two... Did you talk to him? I did talk to him. Okay, that's why. He didn't change the second page. Okay. Um... Nice love exploration, hidden items. Yes, yes, yes. Um, so, Elijah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to send you a YouTube video series on this engine. It's super intuitive, and um, mm -hmm. that's how I learned it. Okay. Um, technically, the series I'm going to send you is actually for the last version of the engine. Oh, Shopkeeper has an old... That is the old name tag. What? what uh, so does you? Lily. Okay. I got you. One second. All of everyone in that building has the wrong tag. Cool. Yeah, so that's happening because of the last version of the en the engine. We used a plugin to do the name tags. This version of the engine is built in. What? Do I always just lose when I talk to this guy? He also has the wrong. Okay. The building to the right of it has the wrong one. Okay. And the building to the left. Yeah, the, the looks like all of them will. All of them. Do. All of them are 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 in correct. All right, Sarah. I guess I'm going to Pine Village. Oh, and Pine Village. I remember what direction that is. Can't access a sign from the other direction. That's just not cool. Well, I mean, it is, and it's realistic because, you know, the writing's only on the one side. Um, no, no, it doesn't seem very real. Well, I don't know what you want. I want realistic. I want realist realism. How the fuck can I not get through here? That is still busted. What is busted? Uh, when oh, you dig God. up the hole, when you're standing okay. on top of it, you are inside the hole. Gotcha. Hey, um. Ryan. Hey, Ryan. What's up, man? Thank you for uh, being here. Lily, the dragon puncher, 
is a character from basically the start. Whoa! Yeah. So I talk to the dude, right? Yeah. And then after he's done, he disappears. Okay. Like he blinks out of existence. Okay. Give me a minute. One thing at a time. Okay, yeah, fit, fit. I'll, I'll, I'll keep it. I'll remember. I'll remember. Don't worry about it. So this guy... A, va a, a vampire never forgets. I'm not asking a vampire. I'm asking you. Well, that's a shame. Uh, I, th I guess we're doing pretty good. Uh, Brandon's, uh, doing something. Chat's just being oh, chat. Right. Yeah. Okay. Is this where the bridge is? No. You're supposed to be making. Does J work? Yes, it does. Look at that, guys. Yes, that is something that I did fix. I am missing my quest, though, from beforehand. But I guess that doesn't matter. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's okay. How do I. Yeah, stuff like the Morth Windwood uh, quests isn't actually possible to complete right now. So. Oh shit, Adam, there's another problem. What? I didn't ding because the main quest Strife didn't complete. Okay. Yes, and it says first alchemy toy. Huh? It says go to your first alchemy lesson, go to bed. Okay. Go to your first alchemy lesson, go to bed. Okay. Go to your third alchemy lesson. Okay, give me a second. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to wait for you. Because okay. I don't know what I'm supposed to do at this point, because this isn't gone. Yeah. And I don't know what my next main quest is supposed to be, but I guess... Okay. Names are fixed. Names... Well, this guy isn't fixed. Ringmaster. <sighs> Commercial product? I don't know what you mean. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, we've been it, it, we've been tweaking the, the living shit out of it. Because there was a lot of stuff that wasn't fixed, and in instead of starting me back, instead of starting back at the beginning again, we just remade the um the save. So we just remade it... the save and added stuff. So I I'm I am still like missing other quests and shit. Like that's just because the of... scarecrow one and shit too, yeah. which really sucks. Because that's a good well, one. Well, that did that one actually start for you? Yeah, it, it just never showed up. I was still getting the gold because I was getting the sound for like completing a a thing of it, but. Okay. Okay, Ringmaster. Is this Colton Catherine? Oh, that's Colton. Fuck, I shouldn't have done that one. Damn it. So we used to have another main character named Colton that no longer exists. Uh. So there's still some remnants of him. I bet. That we're basically just ignoring to, for the sake of time. Because anything that involves him only triggers if he's in the party. So technically, because there's no way to get him in your party, you can never see any of those things. So Okay. Now... Uh, plugins. What? Uh, Me? Oh, oh, you. Uh, quest system. Quest categories. Main quests. Uh, quests. Strife. Uh, objective list. Second. Okay, so here's my question. So can you do you know why it never triggered the end of the quest? Why does it still say go to your third alchemy lesson? Probably because I didn't actually add a way to finish it. Because so I should have dinged six four. after that then. Forest day four. Yep. Uh, after the battle. So... After your alchemy. Uh, 
third off the lesson. So I just didn't finish typing the quest. So there's not actually more. Okay. Oh, so what shit. I can do is Can yeah, I just so I is just there a way for me to just auto complete? Uh I feel like there might be technically no because that's using a plugin. Um give me a second. All right, I'll tell you. Time. Well, it shouldn't keep you from starting your next quest. Well, no, I was just pointing out that it was doing that and that's also XP that would have gotten me to 6. You should be able to oh, just bump yourself to the next level then. Press F9 and then go to quick. Yeah. And then party level plus one. Uh, bottom left. Oh, yeah. Well, at least I think Just it would. Yourself. That's Where's... fine. Just bump yourself. Here, hold on. Let me go in here. The last time... I forget what it was. Because that's the thing, is it doesn't... I never allotted XP because I never completed Finish the... The, thing. the objectives. So, if I look at objectives list, the last objective that I added to the quest was go to your third alchemy lesson. So what? What? Sixty-five so. what? <laughs> um. So I need to add optional. This is help, Jarrett. This is tutorial for my V2. Up. And then I need to add optional kill Jarrett. Okay. And then, after you win your battle... Um, am I supposed to, like... Am I supposed to, like, click? No. How does that get triggered? What? The fucking bridge isn't down. Uh, did you talk to people in town, uh, Pine Village? Yeah, I talked, he said, yeah, he, yes, you know, D757. Went, yeah, Wentworth is going to make the bridge, go there and get stuff, but the bridge isn't there, and I don't know, and it, the, the quest doesn't specify I'm supposed to talk to other people. I was just supposed to talk to Mr. Connor, as Sarah said, and I did. Tutorial combined with two. So I was I was looking at him to see if he had So the bridge triggers with Oh, so it's in it was done backwards. Okay, one second. How does how does the bridge get triggered? So Or how is it if, supposed I'll, to be? Let triggered? me let me teach you here how it works. Go and click on any of the pieces of the bridge. Yep. And double click it. Oh uh, yeah. Oh shit. It it's it's catching up is what yeah. it's doing. Uh, tutorial combined V2. I know, but I it, it takes so long to me to if get you hold places. Middle click, it'll let you scroll around. Oh, that's um, how you do that. Anyway, so if you double click on that, so you see how there's two pages, two yeah. tabs underneath the name. So the page one has a condition, yeah. which is the tutorial bridge switch. Yeah. It goes right to left. So the second page is that there's no bridge there, and that has no conditions, which means no matter what, it'll do page two. What I need to actually do is, the what needs to happen is the other way around. So page one actually needs to be page two. Um, so that page two is tutorial bridge and page one is... Nothing? Nothing. Is how it needs to Why? work. Why? Well, I mean, isn't the bridge only supposed to be there after after you start this quest? Correct. So shouldn't, so shouldn't that be left alone and there just be a trigger that does that? That, that is the trigger. The turning the switch on will trigger it, trigger the right, the correct. Because you, you said it goes from right to left, right? Which means it starts correct. at two and then goes to one. Well, correct? it checks each one. It checks each page. So it, it's going to check and see if the conditions for page uh, two are met before it checks to see if the conditions for change for page one is met. And the condition for page two would be, do you have the quest? Right? Exactly. So it's checking. So because the wrong they're in the wrong order, it is, um, there's not yet a demo. Sign to a variable to trigger. We don't need to do, that's a little bit too much. Um, it, the only thing is that the pages were just in the wrong order. Well, so, because page two is the switch, or in the old case, page one was the switch. It was never getting to page one, because all the conditions for page two are already met, because there are no conditions. Well, shouldn't it only ever be one page? 
that says, hey, there's no bridge here until you get the quest, and then there's a bridge. You need two pages Technically, you could do that either way. I could have an if statement in the one page. Actually, Which is kind no. of what you're doing. Actually, no, because the actual image needs to change, and to do that, you need it on a separate page. Well, yeah, that's why, that's why I thought they're in the correct order. Page two is blank and has nothing except a trigger that says, hey, if this quest is in Catherine's inventory, go to page two. It hits page two and goes, now the bridge exists. It's, is that you're not thinking the correct of a order? You're thinking of it differently because it, it's technically backwards. So what's actually happening is needs to, what needs to happen is actually the reverse. Because again, so, so first it, it checks. Right. So f it, it goes, it checks for conditions starting on the highest number page. So if you have the quest, this switch will be on. Mm -hmm. Which in this case, that means the bridge is there. If you don't have the quest, it's then page two, as far as the game is concerned while you're playing it, page two doesn't exist because you don't have this switch on. So it's going to go to page one. The reason that it wasn't working is because page two had did not have any condition. So it was okay. just staying on page two. Okay. Even all though right, the switch right, was on, right. it didn't care because page two is checked first. Okay, I think I got it. I mean, technically speaking, isn't the game on Steam? Technically speaking, it is on isn't Steam. There a, isn't that technically a playable demo, quote unquote? Kind of, but it's not a free demo. It's free. Well, bucks. yeah, that. So, so there technically is a demo. It's just that. Um. So yeah, I mean, you can add it to your wish list, bro. Every time it goes on sale, it goes on sale for one dollar plus your local tax. So uh. Okay, so save where right. you're at. Let me save. And then uh, close the engine. Yep. Uh, the whole engine. Well, all the way out. I'm just thinking for a second here. Yeah. Now it's fixed. Okay, cool. Sometimes it doesn't like to. Well, I I know it's fixed because it it's it was doing yeah. old updates as I was sitting there watching. I know. So I know that it's fixed now yeah. because of because it's there. Mm -hmm. Even though, the, yeah, the switch is on and it's not there, so you need probably need to restart the engine. It's just weird. Can't I just flip the switch? I mean, you can. What switch is it? 170? 170. 170, gotcha. 170. Tutoria Bridge. It says it's on. Too. I'm alert. <laughs> there, fixed it. Fixed the problem. Yeah. Fuck that. So it's basically just the engine being borked right now. Yeah. Yeah. I can't it. walk over that. That's fucked up. That's what is this? The burned down uh, town. Burned down town, baby. With no fucking entrance, cause it's burned down, which does. Makes sense, but I mean, it does have an interest. You just didn't. It. it does have an interest. You just didn't go to it. Oh, apparently you can just walk right through there. Uh, this is walkable. Just letting you know. It's at the. It's at the crack. So you might want to fucking finish the head. Oh, you didn't put anything there. Fuck, dude. Well, I mean, Region Twenty Two doesn't have to be there to block it off. The tiles themselves have. So uh, why is it not blocked off then? And, um, I can't get into the village. Okay. From gotcha. this direction, apparently, I can. Gotcha. Okay. So. These dark spots block path. That's weird. Okay, it's all tiles. That's such a weird thing. One second. Like, I understand why this tree does, and I understand why this tree does. Why the fuck does this? It's all tiles. Okay. Edit what tile says it using 35 tutorial test. Uh, it's like these this. patches of burn should just be it's visual, right. not physical. You're right. You're right. Uh, Adam, we have a, a third problem. Yeah? Because of that bug, because of that reason, all these spots stop me from walking in. 
Yeah, that's fine. That's an easy fix. I will let you fix it first, then. Uh, you should close your engine because of... Yep, I'm just going to save and... All the other issues, too. What page is that particular tile on? I would think it would be A. Yep, there it is. So that you can walk on. Cool. That is fixed. So do you just have to do that for all of them, right? No. So I tell the, the tile set literally is a copy every single time. So oh, you change the properties of the physical tile you're placing on the ground. Correct. Ah. Yep. Okay. Well, that makes a lot of sense. And then... So why, So if, if you don't need the barrier for that to matter, right? You don't need the, the 22 for barrier-wise, why do you have to put it in to fix the problem? You don't have to. So, so if for some reason problem, this is considered a... F floor that you can walk on. It is only that one part's a floor. I tried everywhere else. It was oh, only at that. It was only at those crack? cracks. Okay. Those cracks are not considered walls. Okay. So that okay, that kind of makes sense because we we also end up putting cracks on like the ground a lot more than we do on walls. And oh, stuff. I know why. That's why. I know why that happened. I was complaining that I couldn't walk over a crack on the floor in a building. And we and, changed it. And Brandon changed that to physically be able to be walked over, and that applied because he changed the yep. tile set. It applied to everywhere that tile yep. was used, including the wall. Yep. There we go. Yep. We figured it, We figured it the fuck out. We are. Okay. So, control S. Oh, boy. Should be good. Now, back to... Oh, yeah, the dude. The the dude in the house. When you talk to him to get this quest, oh, yes, it disappears at the end. There we go. Thank That's you. what I was like. I've got to remember something. Mr. Connor. Why the... Okay, apparently yeah. he just doesn't have his... Okay. What bug we smashing today? We All of them. We are smashing as many as I can fucking find because I'm Which really good at breaking lot. shit because I have the patience to be able to fucking left click. We also have, yeah, we so. also haven't been able to properly bug test. Which is why we're doing this. Time. Like, I've, I've bug tested all the way up to a certain point when you get to branch between either the light path or the dark path type yeah. thing. So I, because the light path was more fine-tuned, I figured I'd go to the light path first because the darker side doesn't have as much because it requires a lot more combat and the combat system is minimal. Yeah. So we're not... We have nine viewers right now. Hello, everyone. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we should be... We should be, uh, we should be all right. Uh, I, need, I can go back, I think, to the quests. Yep. Cool. I also let it update enough, so we should be good there, too. Nice. Testing. Testing. Woo! Testing, 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 <gasps> Do you read? I hear you loud and clear, Pat. Uh, no, the game is not released, Nerd Mansion. We're not obviously fully still released. fucking working on it. Not fully released. It is uh, got alpha, a I'd say. Alpha, alpha version. Alpha's, alpha's a word. On, so you, you can, like... Is it, so, like... If you buy it now, right, and... It's on early access. Yeah, it's basically early access. Basically, if you go on Steam, you can buy it now or get it when it's on sale or whatever. It's not that expensive at the moment. And then you'll have every future version that comes out when it updates and exactly. whatnot. And if, if you wanted to get in early. Because I no. assume it's not going to be $3 when it releases. Correct. When it fully releases, we will make sure that it is worth the higher price tag. We're thinking 10 yeah, like nine ninety nine. So if yeah. if you're if you're like, wow, this does look cool, and you have three bucks fucking laying around, you might as well. Because if you do, then you don't have to pay the. I mean, He's not. Ninety nine ninety nine, right? Elijah is not actually part of our dev team yet. He might be. Um, but he's just saying that because he's a cool guy and a cool friend. So. Well, because I'm I'm technically a part of the dev team. I'm right now, yeah, tester. you're bug testing. I'm so the tester. Though I'm probably gonna start helping him out. Yeah. Probably. What the fuck am I doing here again? Oh yeah, the cool. Okay, so this quest is still bugged. Wow, nothing in here has interactability. 
that is fixed, so that's good. Um, one second. I don't know what I'm supposed one to second. do. One second. One second. I use a uh, crush. No. I get Pokemon vibes from like the way this looks. I really do. I need. I have officially no, run out of ideas. One second. House one. Uh, Scorching Willow House is house one. Oh yeah, I can cheat. So one second. I can totally save. Cheat. Uh, save your game. And reload once the save my save goes through. Because you were supposed to get a thing. You were oh wait one second. You're gonna get two pushes. So reload. What, what am I supposed to be getting? So save your playthrough, and then close your engine. What am I supposed to be getting? Um, I there was two things. That, it's a real okay. So. Events. Oh, you mean the triggers inside the house to do shit? Because it wasn't there when I walked in. So they were set to below characters. They need to be same as characters for you to be able to interact with them. Oh, gotcha. Otherwise, so below characters literally means you're allowed to stand on it as far as an event goes. But okay. For an event that you're supposed to walk up and click on, being below characters doesn't work because below characters, it'll let you click on it, but only if you can stand on it. So like a book... You, you can't stand on a book, so you're not going to be able to trigger it. So, for this... What's <clears> the <throat> other push? Um, what else did you do? Two books. I was told that this path was the one that was worked on the most. <laughs> you should see the other path. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I want to anymore. Like, goddamn... Oh yeah, by the way, just so you know, closing it, from what I can see, closing it and reopening it doesn't actually make it go any faster. It's only going to push as fast as it wants to. Well, and when you fix and when you fix some, Google... when you fix something and it loads it, it it throws the RPG maker to where you fixed it. I know it doesn't always do a good job because it's not actually designed to run through like Google like uh, Google Drive. So, it'll not necessarily uh, Adam, grab all the updated stuff. I have some 22 barriers for you. Yay! Can you put them on that? Thank you. Because I just realized I can walk on the wall of the house because it's the tile set. Are you sure you changed the actual tile set? Because, like, why, why is... It, this is on a different texture. So you're saying the tile set is adding the burn? Is that what you're saying? The tile set has the burns on them, yes. And you, but what I'm asking is, you changed all of them. Yes. Because to me, because to me, if, if if you're looking to me, the burn <coughs> outside is on grass, and the burn on the wall is on brick. And to me, that's two different tile sets, unless tile the sets burn layer. mark is a layer. Yes. So all tiles can be layered. So you change the thing that adds the burn effect to be walkable all the time. Yes. Okay. That you might want to look around then. Be all right. Okay. The burn mark doesn't happen a lot in the game. Of course, it's Balthazar. Well, yeah, I mean, that's the reason why it's so low, is that if you want to get in early on the ground, you can. I mean, of course, we would like people to pay, you know, nine ninety nine for it eventually, and people but, uh, will once it is, but it's also nice to have people be able to play it early to also, you know, yeah. help test. I mean, we're not fucking EA, so it's not yeah. like it's a live fucking service game where you're paying the nine ninety nine now for, you know, a pre-fucking alpha. Like, yeah. this ain't EA. You guys are very lucky it's not EA. I could be like, oh, you want to play as Catherine? That'll That's, be 20 bucks. That'll be 20 bucks. Oh, oh you, you want to be able to use the arrow keys? That's another 20 bucks, man. That's that's th not $2.99 DLC, the, dude. You can have the season pass for forty five ninety five. Yeah. a month. You want to buy card packs? We make card packs. <laughs> we'll buy some fuck card... Hey, hey, kid, you want some card packs? <laughs> hey, 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 kid, you want... 
You want some mystery boxes, kid? Yeah, you want some you want some loot boxes? Want some loot boxes? They're 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 not it's not gambling, no, it's uh it's uh, surprise mechanics. Yeah. That's an act that's surprise the action, gameplay. That is the actual wording they used yeah. in an actual court hearing. Yep. It is not loot boxes. They, it's not gambling. It's surprise mechanics. Oh, I have. And have I've never wanted to punch memes? somebody more in my life. It's not pedophilia. It's just early access. <laughs> Dear God. Okay, Adam. What was I supposed to do then? Uh, so so I active. The... I activated both books. Nothing happened. Like I, I read the um, books. Go but... back down to. Let me double check here. I read the books, but nothing happened. Let me go. Back down and make sure I'm right before I tell you this. How the fuck did you get down there? There's a basement to. I didn't know the, that. Yes. That's not obvious. In the in the big house? Yes. It does have a ladder right there. Oh god, I didn't fucking notice. Uh, for some reason, that did not. It didn't trigger what it was supposed to. Give me one second. Even the man, you're slipping on the barrels, dude. Oh! It triggered, but only when I faced the opposite direction. It didn't trigger immediately when I came downstairs. Like, when I walked... When I went... When I... When I... Um, okay, third problem. Okay, When you go gotcha. back up the ladder, you're on top of a barrel and can't gotcha. move. Like, when I go down the le... Oh, I know why. When you go down the ladder, it doesn't spawn it you at the ladder. You there, it places yeah. you there, and it doesn't okay. trigger it. I got you. One second. So if you so could, like... there, first off. Secondly, going up the ladder transfers player to there. Yes, please. Uh, retain direction. So now what? Okay. It triggers next to the barrel? It triggers so next yeah, to it pot? triggers there, and I added an extra pot, so you have to walk on it. Okay, good. Well, I triggered it, so now what? Am I supposed uh, to gather things? Like, what do I do? So, what did it say? I wonder if I could use. There's all these a lot materials of materials here. The the book mentioned for building a mill. I bet they could use a lot. I should bring them these materials. Found and then no nothing so now happens. You, now you go back. I just go back home. Yeah, you go back and tell them. It would be awesome if the quest updated to let you know. Yes, me. I am aware of that. The quest quest log is uh, lagging behind. Borked. Well, it hasn't been added enough because I was getting. Oh, that's a question for Adam. I don't. I can't. Estimated playtime unknown right now. Oh uh, yeah, I mean. I mean, Elijah. A couple hours. Hey, and the bridge is here. Fuck yeah. We're gonna aim for. Uh, I it. can't walk yeah, over the bridge. Got you. Got you. Um, we're gonna aim <laughs> for like five hours or so of the main story, but we're also gonna have like side quests and things. So. I, w I would say a good, like, especially for something like this, I would say a good estimated playtime would be like 10 hours. Five for yeah. the main, five for extra. I think that so... would be pretty cool. Unless you want to... Uh, uh, however, the playtime could be like 3,000 hours if you sit there at a barrel and punch in numbers for eternity. <laughs> <laughs> so, the... So why can't I walk over it? What, what did you do? The priority for it is same as characters for some reason. And it needs to be below character, correct? correct? Woo! I'm learning. Okay. Um. We've been fixing a lot of problems. Yeah. The side quests are probably going to be... Uh, they might end up being longer than the main story. I think that would think be of awesome. think of Skyrim. The main story is going to take you five to ten hours. Side quests you could literally play the game for ever. We're hoping to get to that point. In fact, we're probably going to just continually make side quests as we're available. Well, and plus, there's also like planned DLC. Yeah, which I'm I'm should be in free the DLC, DLC by the way with free the DLC side quests. Yeah. yeah. Who am so, I supposed to talk to now? Mr. Connor. Probably. Well, he disappeared off the face of the earth. Remember? Uh, yeah, he should be back. He is. Yeah. We'll see if he teleports again. He shouldn't. Oh, he just doesn't talk to He you. just is now an inanimate guy. He doesn't give a fuck. He doesn't give a fuck. All right, well, Did I gotta we make a you... way for you to finish this quest. There should be. I thought so, oh, too. Oh, also, we found a new one as well. Um, The Strife no quest doesn't finish. have an end. Yeah, so it should work. Mill idea finished. The, the Strife quest doesn't 200. have an end. 
It never yeah. triggers to finish. You never get the XP. It just chills. Yeah. Because Adam forgot to finish it. Uh, well, that's the act the actual quest in the quest journal never finishes. Yeah. We uh, found we uh, we also found a we also found we also fixed a problem that I asked that I had you fix beforehand. Remember how I was like you should be able to walk over these cracks in the building. So you change the tile set to let those be walk over. Because that changed the tile set, it changed everything, mm -hmm. as you know. So I could walk through like certain walls and shit. Mm -hmm. So now he, so now as we're going through, we're figuring out where those are and adding the twenty two barrier. Mm -hmm. Which is cool. So the cracks in the walls. So And on buildings too, based, like you could walk around. Based on that. So he's gotta fix So this I'll explain to you how it works. I gotta back the fuck and the anyway. wall is something that you cannot walk on. But if you place something on the wall based on the tile layer, yeah. so uh, as you can see in the engine up here that there's different layers. Yeah. So based on the layer that it's on, since the cracks are now walkable, you can walk on the cracks, which are above everything else. Yeah, so like th this so. was the crack I could walk through. Yep. And I also couldn't walk on these, which means that the pathing here is so weird because you can't walk over these and it blocked you in. So oh. he changed this to be able to walk over, yeah. which means now I could walk on the buildings because they're now walkable surfaces. Yeah, so he's first. just been throwing 22s on everything. Yeah, okay. Which, there is a way to fix it. It's just obnoxious without doing 22, but 22 is the quick fix. Well, and it's probably a nice... It's, 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 it's a decent... I think it's a pretty decent fix. But right now he's fixing the fucking um. house... So the, I didn't, didn't know where I was supposed to go because the quest doesn't update. There was, so I have no idea what I'm supposed to do after the thing. And we also fixed a couple of things on the inside, like added a, it teleported you into a barrel when you went up the ladder. Oops. Which we fixed, and he added an extra pot and made the triggers one square over because it was spawning you on top of the trigger, which doesn't trigger it until you hit it again. Now I can't talk to the dude. So it wants a different switch. It wants switch 200 and 199 turns on, but I'm trying to figure out if there was somewhere else you're supposed to go that turns on two. I should just search for 200 instead of 199. No. So 200 just... It doesn't even show that it's in this. So well, because normally what would cause him to go to his next thing would be me getting that trigger, right? That's not officially in the text there. It has to be in the... Okay. It has to be in the text. So... Am I correct in stating that? What? When I walk down the ladder and I hit the trigger in the basement, that's supposed to trigger something to let him get the next yes. line of stuff. Yeah. So I'm thinking... Is that not doing it? I'm thinking that what I wanted to do was have somehow for you to um, put the stuff together. Together, I'm thinking that's what I wanted you to do because it. I turned on 199. This one wants 200, and I don't know if there's a reason. I opted for not putting the stuff together. You would just bring the stuff to him. Okay, it should work now. Uh, Next time it pushes an update. Oh, and it should work now. Okay, yeah. sweet. Stuff to update. Cause I mean, cause that. That's why I'm like, I don't. Oh, it just got that one. Well, that's cool. Wow, it takes fucking forever. Yeah. Or does it only push updates when he saves? Yeah, only when I okay, save. Okay, you should save, like, consistently then. I try to, but I, sometimes I forget. Uh, it also takes a minute to update. Well, yeah, I, I noticed that closing the RPG Maker and then opening it back up doesn't actually make it go faster. Yeah, but There we go. Now it should be good, because now we're on the section he was in. But it also Because it notices that stuff changed before all the files can necessarily be updated, sometimes you can break things if you click yes to mo to, to go to the modified, the most recent version. It could try to load it before all the files are technically updated, which is why we close and reopen it. Yeah, it's, it's a weird thing. It is a weird thing. So, technically... It's not it's designed to work over Google Drive. Yes. You're not supposed to do that. Oh, that's how we we're doing it. Once. Shit, it's using Google Drive. So no, so our, it's this isn't a function of the RPG Maker where you're doing it at the same Correct. time. So you're using Google Drive to do so. MV, yes. the engine right before this that looks identical, mm -hmm. didn't have that little box that pops up. 
it had no idea. This one actually notices when you change files. All this one is doing is saying, "Hey, I think a file change in your game in your game file and your game do you want to do you want to yeah. reload?" So what it does is the first the very first file that Google pushes to the our save of this game, it goes, "Oh, hey, something changed. Do you want to reload?" Well, you reload, but not everything got pushed. There's still three or four more files that Google's trying to push to the other PC, and you haven't gotten them yet. That's so why that's why we reload. Refreshing. And then if you Or close, I guess technically you could wait for the box to pop up and then wait an extra 30 seconds. Well, that's what I've been doing. But, like, uh, now, now, that, now that I'm in the place and it updated the door, I know it's good. Yeah. But it, that's why we close and reopen, because then it reloads all the files. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It yeah. doesn't just reload those files. Okay. So you should be able to talk to him now. Hey. There. Um. What else? What else? Yeah. And this engine is not made for multi developers. <laughs> Mostly, it's just guys in their mom's basement making video games on it. Yeah. <laughs> that's not even a joke. That's true. Yep. Watch all the streams. Any other RPG Maker stream, there's a single person that barely talks. With a neck beard and a fedora in this guy's basement. I can bring a fedora. Want a fedora? I can bring a couple fedoras. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Say it. Hi, Shadow Fox. He's not actually here, but... <laughs> Rude. <laughs> I... I'm glad Jay works now. That's cool. You're welcome. See, I see oh, now, I and now I have two main quests, because Strife yeah, never completed, because... I forgot. Adam doesn't finish anything. I'm working on it. So, to me, I should continue It Cuts Off Downfall. At the very least, Objectives. I should find some more alchemists there. Go Why does fall. it do this? Not Downfall. Oh. Is um, this just a limitation of the engine, or is so that, or that, do you have to format that, this? I have to format. format. Okay, okay, gotcha. So gotcha, gotcha, in gotcha, text gotcha, boxes, gotcha. we have something to auto format. Yeah, but it doesn't do it in this. Oh shit! Because this is a plugin. So ah it yes, doesn't plugin. fully realize what it is. Plugin. So the plugin can't work with the other plugin because it doesn't realize it's generating a text box. It doesn't know it's a plugin. The plugins can't see other plugins necessarily. In, unless they're, unless they're specifically so. Yeah, unless they so. know each other exists and normally they don't. Like, yeah. Like the developers of the plugin would have to get with be the, the other developers yes. to be able to put in Yes. So there are, there are plugins it. like that. Vigu Stella is like God So they, the they have a world. core engine which mm -hmm. is what all of Which their RPG plugins made. Well, oh. no, the core. Think of it like Tinker's Construct. How you need the core, and then all the individual pieces under it work. Gotcha. In Tinker's Construct. Yes. So, so there, I assume there's like one guy that does a lot of this, like a lot of the plugins. But uh, Visual Stella is a group. It, it used, used to be, to be one, one guy, and then he branched out. Then he retired actually, and only yeah. consults now, and he got a group of people that to remake his old MV. Uh, plugins plus a bunch of new ones Sweet. with the agreement that they would. It still freezes there. there. Yeah, yeah, I do that on purpose. I don't. I felt they know. they can't just port over the plugins. They had to improve and remake them from scratch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was the agreement. Is that they improve upon them? Uh, other than that, so how am I supposed to get to Dawnfall? Uh, you walk there. Oh. Oh yeah, you didn't get that. Well, that's Since because we, we remade the, the save, thing, yeah. so everything is still where it's supposed to be. <laughs> it's redoing this again? <laughs> yes. Oh, shit, because you Cause haven't been in Because I haven't been here before. <laughs> oh, <laughs> see the problem shit. we've created? And it's going to start that quest over again. So, here's the thing. Yep, I just gained the quest. There it is. <laughs> so, here's the thing. You're supposed to be in a totally different version of uh, Sephirin. Fuck, yep. But things didn't go accordingly. Brandon, do you want to speed run his game to okay. where he needs to be? Okay. New save, Here, speed run. Here's here's what we're gonna do. Uh, let me sit down for a yeah, minute. Yeah, you you do what you you do what you gotta do to to do it. I mean, we can easily. We should probably just. I mean, if you wanted to start it over from scratch and literally speed run the damn no, thing no, and no. save it over the current one that I have, eventually. No, no, no. We're gonna we're gonna. Oh, do you're that. gonna do some finagling. Oh yeah. shit. 
Oh no! <laughs> this ain't gonna be pretty. How many fucking swishes? <laughs> We're about to have some botched surgeries here. <laughs> oh prepare, god! Prepare your bodies. Oh no! Your your save is about to identify as a completed <laughs> save. It's not, but it's gonna. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Brandon's uh, about to do some surgery on this safe and it ain't coming out. Oh, fuck. It's going to need some therapy afterwards. <laughs> Good old physical therapy. Oh, shit. Okay, quest system, categories, <clears throat> mains, strife, uh, objectives. Eight is help, nine is kill. Remember that. Eight is help, nine is kill. Yep. Okay. Eight is help. Mm -hmm. So... Eight is help. completes. And then... Nine... Oh. Fail. And then nine complete, eight fail. Okay. Do you okay. have the uh, um, the so XP now... being given? Not yet, because I'm not at the end of it. Because it so, technically should do both of it, right? Yes, yeah, so what I'm going to do is... Uh, quest system... Categories. I'm going one at a time, because it doesn't actually tell you the title of each... Um, thing. It doesn't actually tell you the title of each objective when you get it. Um, when you mess with it in engine, you have to know the ID of it. Mm -hmm. So I need to go... I'm doing them one at a time so I know the numbers of each one. Uh, so objectives. We're now on objective 10. Which is... Um, leave the... Crucible. Okay. And then, uh, technically, Tutoria V2. I would I would push the update right now. I would do it right now. That, that way, by the time he's finished, and I have, and if I decide to reload it, the engine that's open on his computer will mm. automatically know it exists. What are you doing? Uh, where is it? I want to know where it places where, it. How do, how do you get... So if the quest book itself is a plug-in, where do you go for that? The plug-in menu. So this little puzzle piece here is all the plugins that we have, right here. Plugin uh, quest system. Okay, so so where's where's where do you decide the format at which it displays for a quest, like on the screen I see? You got to go a little deep strife. into it. Yeah, you got to go really okay. deep. Uh, so object objectives lists here. Find someone to teach you about your alchemy. Uh, there's also the description field in the same one. Go to go to the when when you get the when you get the quest to go to Dawnfall. You gain the quest that says go to like the, the beginning quest. Secrets right? of Dawnfall. Yeah. So wh where's the description? It's the description, right? Oh shit. Okay, hold on. Hold this on. This is my own formatting too. What, okay, I'm gonna. So, I'm, we're gonna we're gonna do this, and then when I reload it, we're gonna see if it works. So you see the my. Mm -hmm. Bring that down to a new line. And then I guess you can try fix. to back that up. So obviously it's kind of difficult because these don't show up. So I usually try to guess. So do it take. at do it at the don't thereish. Sure, we can we can try. We'll see that. if that works. Okay. There we go. Okay, so okay. we'll push that. Then Where once, is it? Once Brandon's done, you, I will fully reload it and see what happens. Where does it put you when you? I mean, that's just gonna that that right there is just trial and fucking error. Yeah, is well, once try you to know, format it the best you can. Once you know how much room you have, 
and where about the cutoff is on the text box, then you can kind of guess. And you'll I mean, well, as right. we were looking at it, it, it cuts out a little bit before the end of the window cuts out. Yeah. And then you have to guess because of the formatting that, that you do for colored text and stuff. Yeah. Like I said, it's just trial and error. It's basically yeah. every time you get a quest, look at it, go, oh shit, that's not right, and then instantly go yeah. in and fix it every single that's time. That's what, yeah, that's what you really. Because otherwise, to you're gonna have to, because you're gonna have to recheck over and over and over again to make sure that it's actually doing that. Player touch, and then we're gonna do plug in command. Did we have him choose a weapon? Did you choose a weapon for him when the, the very beginning? No, because oh, we skipped no, that. No, skipped the whole thing. Okay, I'll give you a that's weapon. Okay, dude. just give me the sword. Yeah, that's what I did. Sweet. Chose sword. Because um, that's what you chose last time. Yes, it is. Cuz again, we built the we built this save from the fucking ground up. We built this save. Uh, rock and roll. Ryan is hanging away. Bye, Ryan. Oh, he did, like, forever ago. Got it. Ago. We built this city on rock and roll. Built this city. We're gonna get fucking wrecked. Why are we getting wrecked? Because we're such amazing singers, we're gonna get copyright striked. Uh, I'm gonna give you an item you didn't have before. Because okay. you, you didn't grab it. What? Oh, where was it? The upgraded sword is in the mine shaft. Which mine shaft mm. are we talking about? The one where you go and before you talk to Bolton. It's like a hidden thing. Uh, you have to go into a side room and there's the chest. Oh! There's a little cave opening that you can actually go into. Mm. And it leads Wait, into another cave. Bolton is... When you get ambushed in the mine. Yeah. And you find out you're an alchemist for the first time. Oh, that mine! Oh, yeah, yeah I, did, I didn't look around it at so, all. So, yeah. There's, I didn't look around There is one side room that you can get the upgraded version of whatever weapon you're holding. Oh, nice. So, it checks to see what you're holding, and then that's the weapon that you get. So, Sweet. I will give you the upgraded sword Sweet. to help. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I assume you flipped enough switches. That and uh, if you are the chicken, you don't have a weapon, so you get the hardened steel breastplate instead of the iron breastplate. That's cool. Uh, also, since you skipped over that, you don't have the How, iron. Where breastplate. do I get it from? Where's this you auto get as soon as you pick a weapon. And it just didn't do it. Since you didn't pick oh, a since weapon. Since I didn't pick a weapon, I don't have it. Yeah, yeah, you don't yeah. Have yeah. It. Interesting. It, it doesn't tell you you get this, but I auto equip it for you. So okay, you have a gotcha, piece of armor. gotcha. And then you also you also auto equip the sword yes. after you pick it up out yes. of the chest the next time. Okay. Yes. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So, uh, I'm going to be doing more auto equipping, but once you start getting weapon upgrades, I'm going to introduce hey, you should. Yeah, it's it's uh, always nice when you get something new, especially at early in the yeah. game. You're like, hey, you picked up an upgraded sword, and then a little pop up comes up. It's yeah. like, hey, by the way, um, equip your shit. Like, so in the tutorial, it'll auto equip it. When you get your weapons back, I'm going to set it to auto equip. But when you get the like gilded sword, yeah, no, I'll set it to hey, you should probably equip this because what if you wanted something else or yeah. like if you. Like, if you're playing Final Fantasy, you're trying to max out the weapons points so yeah. you can learn your skills from it. Is there a way to get... So, when you pick the sword for the first time, that's... When you pick the weapon for the first time, I that's could, the one that gets upgraded, right? Yeah. I, can whatever you, you're holding. So, you could technically, once we add in the rest of the shops, if you buy a different weapon and you were holding... The like, different weapon, it would you, be upgraded. You pick a sword originally and you get a dagger. So, the shops are eventually going to have the other item. Some of them, yeah. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So then you'll be able to like be holding the dagger, and then when you go to get the upgraded, that specific chest, yeah, it will give you the upgraded dagger. That would be a really cool like special thing for like multi multi playthroughs and stuff. Is like have a weapon that only shows up in the starting, but only if you've done something specific to trigger yeah. it that way. Uh, so that like oh. so that weapon only shows up. Do you mean the shovel or the shield? Oh. Those are those are start specific. Mm -hmm. Interesting. The rest of that. them you can you can actually get 
better weapons. So like, the shovel that I used to dig in the holes of the That's a mini shovel. That's Okay, gotcha. That's the distinction there. I like it's it. It's just a baby shovel so you can shovel. That, it's like the shovel little... in the starting zone is a big ass shovel that you can whack things yeah, with. Yeah, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Bonk. Cool. Uh, cool. And then the shield that's sitting off to the side of the tent, you can actually go up and pick that as your weapon. Oh, that's cool. So, See, I didn't reference know that. to Shield Hero. That, yeah, that's really cool. <laughs> and Shovel Knight. And then Shovel Knight oh, for the shovel. Sh yep. Shovel Knight. <laughs> Two small little references. Yes, the shovel's on the table, but the shield's off to the side that you can just interact yeah, with. Yeah, because if, if you go up to the shovel, it says it, but you're not going to think to go for the shield because you're trying yes. to pick a weapon where you yes. pick the shield. So you can actually pick the shield. And then if you go inside her tent, there's more treasure in there. I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can go inside the tent, and she has a small chest of something. That's really cool. Yeah. See, that's great. See, I'm, I'm learning. That little things. area, you can't go anywhere, but you can explore a little bit. Damn, I, I hit that. some stuff. That's great. See, that's a good thing, because like I click on, I try to go and click on everything, and the fact that I've missed both of those is great. Yeah. So, the shovel, you'll get the snow shovel. That's the upgraded I like that. shovel. I like it. And then the shield, iron you'll go to the shield. iron bandage nice. shield. Does the shield even, like... So how does the shield function uh, at all? It functions as a weapon, but a very dull weapon. It's like a bludgeoning weapon, okay. but it gives you more defense. Okay. So like these don't have any defense stat. This does. Yeah. So it has damage and defense, but the mm -hmm. damage is a lot lower. Yes. So you can, okay, that's cool. That's really so cool. So you can just use it as a, a bludgeoning, Smooth. bashing weapon. Yeah. Awesome. That's cool. Have I missed anything else with what I've been going through besides getting the upgraded sword because I didn't know that was existed? And the mines aren't officially done, so we just told you to run through it anyways. Yeah, you were trying to get me to a certain point. You're like, yeah, just run through the mine. And I was like, all right, cool. I yes, the, but there's mind. one little cave in there that if you go in, you get the upgraded weapon. Interesting. Um, not really. All right, I was just, I was just wondering. I, didn't... I don't think there's much else that you missed so here's my question so you know you see how i see how a lot of these items don't have icons i assume those are coming eventually yeah 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 so like the breadstick i custom made an icon this one like there's a default icon set yeah and i was like okay cobellin's payment that kind of would go with gold that yeah. makes sense i'll use that seeds that's a plant thing uh the basic like icons whatever for stuff so yeah. so a few of them we have made but of course, we made them terribly. So here's my question then: you do, the water bucket that we see sitting around in places, like the water, like we see the actual like bucket of water, mm -hmm. is there a way for us to grab that oh, and yeah. shrink it? I thought we did that. Right, okay. thought, that that's what I was questioning. I, was I like, thought I was we did already. <laughs> I don't think we have. Like, but yes, we can. can grab that tile and in Photoshop put it on the tile set of where we get these icons. Yeah. And we just boop, pop it there. That would be great. That that yep. that's the thing. So it's like the room keys. We need to get like an actual key. Yeah. And then you can see what room key So are key we you going have. to, are you going to make, I assume you're going to leave the key icon the same for all keys. Mm -hmm. you want that makes mm -hmm. more sense. I don't think you need to customize that. No. Because then my tile set would just be full of random miscellaneous keys. So what did you guys use to make the icons? Like what did you... So... The default icons, Our of default, course, are, yeah. are there. So, like, the eggplant and the rope. I assume Eggplant and rope, just Photoshop. Oh, just Photoshop. And we were just like, ah, oh, this is an eggplant shape. That's, I, that, honestly, it's a pretty good eggplant. The and rope then, also looks pretty good. Thank you. The rope, tutorial map, it's just... I like it. Something small. The breadstick is just a breadstick. Oh, I definitely... Like a, like a baguette of I sorts. definitely know something I could do that. A mini shovel. Uh, if one... If, if the carrot and potato... These ones kind of, like the apple, tomato, and potato actually have some shading. Uh, eggplant doesn't have any shading. The carrot doesn't have any shading. <laughs> These specific three have if just a if, tad bit of shading. If it's grabbing it from a specific tile set, if you went into that tile set and just updated what it looked like, would the game automatically grab it anyway, yes. or would you have to re-grab it? So, if, like, say you update the potato, and you replace the potato, yes, next time you load up the game, it'll grab Okay, so you product. could add like Same shading thing to the with eggplant. Any tile set. Every time it grabs something from a tile set, it goes and finds that image. It just and references loads it in. It just so references the image. So when you open okay. the game, 
when you open the game, it populates all the images from... So every including the engine. So itself. if we release this and then six months later do a graphics overhaul, then when we push that update and it updates, it's just referencing where whoop. the icon is, every, and that's what it grabs. Everything like the so whole game could look sweet. entirely different. Where's your Google Drive, Brandon? I don't want to go God, through all your shit. Jeez. Oh, or bring it up on that one. Mine's on my desktop. Um, I was gonna show him how the like what the tile set files actually look like. Oh. So if we go to Drive, AV Games. The reason the reason why I say this because that's that's definitely if 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 one of you wants to like give me like a rundown of how Photoshop partially works or like give or like <laughs> oh man has it's Adam... almost like I have an entire video series I made oh you made just one? for that oh shit I was gonna say because if you can do that I would gladly make like start making icons for so... all the shit welcome to Fun Photoshop Friday. Yeah, uh, <laughs> there's an image thing, and so in each folder, it references like these. So the icons that we were just talking about are in images, and then they are uh, under... Is each icon its own file? No, not specifically here. So we would Type do... Whatever email you want me to send it to. Why do you have my Gmail? Uh-huh. When the fuck did I give you my Gmail? I don't know. I don't use that for jack shit besides the fact that, like, it needed it. So the icon set that we're referencing is just regular icon set? Yeah. And so... And you just add more. This... That is what we can work with in this constraint. Mm -hmm. And so, like, some of them that we're not going to use, like the keystones there. Uh, we can just get rid of those three specifically. You can and replace, replace them and put. And, okay, that's put awesome. something else, right. and then like all this space here, we can fill up that. It's just this box. Yeah, everything works by the grid. They always want a blank space in the corner, just in case. Uh, that's just mm -hmm. how the engine so wants it. Clear, but yeah. this whole area could be filled. This whole area. And you can replace any icon. You and exactly. then we can replace any of them. Cool. So they are in 48 by 48 squares. Mm -hmm. 48 pixels. And same thing with the tile set. Yep. Regular, the actual tiles are in the same exact way. So in Photoshop you can set a grid to be 48 by 48 so you know exactly what to highlight and replace. And then, ba and then uh, you create the icon you want and then you just grab the thing and put it next to the other one. Yep. Cool. I can and so, if you have that grid, you can pop it. Or perfectly you can even just the... draw it on the page itself. Yeah. So you don't even have to make it separately. Like yeah. here, we were, this is the last tile set we were working. Oh, on. I would rather just. Do so it on the whole I have thing. a grid here, so you can see how they're split up. So that's yeah. forty-eight by forty-eight each box. Yes. Yep. And some things take up four squares, which would be yeah forty-eight by forty-eight by two and forty-eight yeah. by two. But if I were to go in and change this great headstone yeah every single copy of this headstone from this tile set would be changed. would be changed yeah it makes sense so i could copy and paste that to anything else to a different tile set because mm. so we use multiple tile sets that also it. have the same images so i so when you if you open this in photoshop does it look like this it'll essentially yes. look like I, this with the since same. i have grids enabled I have that specifically turned on in my Photoshop. It will, oh, it will okay. make the grids. Cool. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nice. So, if we go to the next one, uh, we have a copy of the default. So just so you have a, a copy of all the default in case you replace something and need the other one. Just mm -hmm. in case we accidentally deleted it and we're like, oh no, we need that back. Yeah, you open it in Photoshop. You can grab the thing, re-put it back in. Yeah. And so we also have other random icons that I've gotten from miscellaneous sources that we can uh, right, Photoshop we in. We want. Yeah. So I have tons of different icon sets. So, so but a lot of them are too like realism almost. Yeah. So that's why I didn't really use them and I haven't deleted them yet. So can we use any number? So like I know it goes by the grid and it uses this big layout. Can you, you can go off multiple things, right? Or is it only using one? So the limitation of this specific thing um, so the tile sets, those can only be that big, and then this can only be this big. But what you can do to make your characters and such larger, you can double it, and then your character will now be like too tall, and you can 
you can kind of change the dimensions of how things display, but the limitation is... You can also is... swap tile sets on the fly. So you're not limited. Every single... This is just for one I tile just, set meant, needs to be this big. I just meant, like, big. because you have this... Yes, I can't... I can't expand this. Well, no, that's what, what, I, what I meant was you have this pick PNG here and this PNG. Mm -hmm. the, you can you could reference either of these photos to grab this, icons, right? This specific system template I yeah. can only reference from this. The menu only allows me to reference from icon set. However, that's, oh, and that's it. Yeah. Tile sets though are different. Tile sets have an you can grab number of whatever tile set, basically whenever. So each room uh, is go. specified you gotta, the tile set that it uses so this back. one's going to use the, the inside master and okay. then when I actually go to tile sets inside is that's how it is. Up. number two thank you three inside then it has the sub tile sets and these are the PNGs as t this is telling it which PNG you're grabbing. So tile set A is very particular. It's split up into a bunch of different files. So the tile set for like the map and stuff is very expansive because you can use multiple things. For icons and stuff, it's referencing one thing. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. So, it, since it is a Shit. system icon, it is they limited it to just a small. Well, which thing. is why you don't want multiple keys, because you're m taking up space you don't normally want to take up. Yes. Yeah, so okay, you might gotcha. want a big key and a small key like Zelda does, and that's it. Yeah. It depends. Which, I mean, you don't really need too many variations of keys unless you're, like, doing something really fancy with keys. Like, if it's a very, very special key... It would want its own icon. But, you, yeah. if, but if it's a If it makes key, sense for your story the, for it to look different. Then it yeah. should look different. But if it's the key to a building, all keys yeah. to buildings should probably look around the same. Yeah. yeah. So, like... you got to remember, everyone's game is going to use different this things. This cross we could get rid of. This bell, get rid of. Uh, these three keen stones we can get rid of. There's a key. See, we just could have used that. I didn't realize there was a key there. There's too many icons. There's, yeah. Uh, this knife we can get rid of. This... It's honestly something we should probably go through and get rid of all the ones that we don't There's need. Random house plants we can get rid of, like it. There's a bunch of them that we can. We can replace the ones we don't mm -hmm. want, so that we have access to. And then we were like slowly trying to. Like when we created the icons, we didn't put the whole box and everything. We were just putting the thing, but for like the states, I would like the states to have a Boxes. box, and then anything beyond that like eventually i want to redo all of the tiles so they all are uniform that's also again the Wait, cool you... thing about tile sets is if someone draws for us a new tree or a new barrel then we just you're copy about... it every single the we just copy paste it. It. you're talking about the tile copy sets. And paste it. yeah even this do you It'll want the icons everyone. to have boxes or do you not care uh these ones the ones that are like yeah where they're the like effects and like battle stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd probably like the box format. But the items, rest of them from, probably not. from here down, no, I don't care. Items probably shouldn't to me. Personally, eventually, I'd like to redo all of them so they're not the default. So you, you want eventually to have a unique icon for everything in the game anyway? Yes. Yeah. Not. And, it, and you we're know. just using those as you know what I mean, like yeah. every like the you're not using the default sword that they have. We made our own art thing yes. in Photoshop yeah. for the yes. sword. That's what we use for sword. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And that makes sense. We the that's the best part is we don't have to go change an engine once we've updated that file. Yeah. Reload the engine and it's all yeah. They basically yeah because right now the engine, sword the like the spear is, is pulling off this one. Mm -hmm. If we made a new spear and put it there, we'd be pulling from the same place anyway. Exactly. Yeah. So the spear would auto update. Exactly. That's fantastic. As great. long as you don't. Move shit around. Yeah, as long as you're not moving other things around. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It just works. Yeah. Yep. Which technically means you could Slapping grab that. You, butt. which technically means for every single key, you could grab that key and yes. then eventually. I just if forgot. I make a key. I, I didn't realize cool. the key was there, so that's why I didn't grab it. But. Yeah. I guess yep. yeah that 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 can be my contribution to start off with. And then I, uh, I learn enough of Photoshop to be able to make icons, and I start making fucking icons. Technically, the windows even have their own special <clears throat> color palette. Sweet. Um. Then, like all the weapons, all the weapons have their own little animations and things. So I could pull from any of these weapons for someone's weapon. For tile set, right? For like the battle, if you're holding a sword. 
That's where you and you're pulling it from here. And I can pull it from okay. I'd say I, I choose this sword, and in the when I'm creating the item, I reference this specific file, and then I can whip that. that so it, so it's just the icon system that that decided it's only going to be one file. Deal with it. Correct. Same with uh, the loading screen. This is this is what you we get. You just have to replace that. that. Uh, oh, it's the same thing that. with, like, an intro splash screen. You can only do so big. Um, and only one. Game over specifically has to be named game over, and it's this. Okay. Uh, this one is not size specific, it's just name specific. Okay. So this one, if you increase your game size, it doesn't have to be yeah. 480p. It can be however large your game is. Um... A lot of them are only name specific. Okay. Gotcha. A lot of the files, like window, I could technically put whatever I want here, but it reads it in a specific way that it wants these. Um, but if I had different like window colors, I could have window one, two, three, whatever, mm -hmm. but it's only going to reference window. Interesting. Interesting. And then with a plugin, I could reference the rest of them. How much do I have to pay for Photoshop? How much Photoshop? <laughs> it's expensive. I can what see it. What fucking like... investment I'm about to put um, in Photoshop? Uh, I've never owned it before. I think it's 10 bucks a month. It's a subscription. Fuck Adobe. Yep. Yeah. Fuck them. You can do it yearly, too. That's what that I do. fucking help. All right, and we're back. And we're back. <laughs> <laughs> they definitely don't know exactly what you just said. I was out of the camera, uh, sir. They, I think they. I have a feeling they still have an idea. Uh, like these buttons, the button set is the on-screen touchscreen buttons. If I uh, do this to mobile, that's really cool. So these, I can redesign can these. Customize the button. That's fucking dope. Yep. I can make those look like whatever. Uh, little balloons that can pop up above people's heads. I've seen those before. They're animated, so I can add, I can modify these, and then there's a plugin that it that allows leads for, them left to right. Well, no, these are already red from left to right because they're animated. Yeah. There's a plugin that allows you to have more. Oh, cool. Okay, cool. So they have, like, I think it's a different, like, it'll read balloon two or whatever. And it'll read from another set. Okay. So but it the can engine itself sets. can only do one. The plugin allows it to do multiple. Yes. So that's that's the good things about plugins is they expand allow, on the engine. Yeah. They take what the engine has and they're like, okay, we could do this better. Open it up. Um, yes. So like, uh, we used to in the old game when it was in MV. We had a plug-in that had a little cursor, so we had a little flame icon for the cursor, and it would just move back and forth based on what you were selected on. Nice. I haven't used that in a while. Uh, so, I assume you're going to have to send me all the stuff, right? Like We can just share you on the Google Drive. Okay. <laughs> That's how easy it is. Okay, I'm, That's I'm, why we went into Google Drive. Cause make sure you have some space on your computer. There's, it's like 9,000 files. Oh, I have plenty of space on it. Okay, as long good. as it's not on my C drive, I don't give Also, I have a, I have a storage Google, drive. That's the new like Google Drive just does it remotely until you sync those files to your computer. So it'll only do on per file that you like open or sync basis. Good to know. I synced the whole uh, like AB Games folder. Yeah. I synced that entire thing to my computer. Yeah, so it will right. always download and keep a local copy. But with the new Google Drive, you can work entirely from there. You could there. Le literally not have it take up any space at all unless you're actively working on something and has to save it to your yes. computer and then it'll it push it right back and be gone. Yeah, yep. temporary. That's really cool. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, make sure you get the Google Drive like desktop application. Uh, mm -hmm. They're not really letting you download the old one anymore. Yeah. They finally updated the link. Good. It's called Drive for Desktop. Yeah. That's yeah, what get I that. assume I just get it from the fucking Windows Store. Uh, uh, just the easiest just way to get it. Drive for desktop. Drive for desktop. Yeah. Just search that on Chrome or yep. your web browser. 
It is not on the Windows Store. Google. See, there's even a black and white version somebody made. Sweet. That I got, I guess. <laughs> yep, you'll have to share me on the drive then. But and then once I get Photoshop, that's only that, and then tile sets get that. like really crazy. Well, yeah, you got to really be careful with the tile sets because you. So have to like, them. buildings. Somebody just created this to where you can cut and paste all these into your proper tile set. So they just made a whole bunch of variations that you can take. So uh, this is actually in a format that's readable. So you could just pop this straight into tile set A. Tile set A takes, it shows you this corner icon and then it can reference and stretch based on how many squares it's yeah, taking tile up. Tile set A is, a st is stretchable. It's a weird one. Tile set A is animate, stretchable. Uh, and it's, weird. it's the ground, it's walls. It has different rules. Tile yeah, set tile A, set is a so it has. If I do that, then it's just that. But it also stretches. Oh. Compared to other tiles, if I do that, it's just that. Oh God. Tile set A. Like, tile set A is like self-aware. It knows uh, whether you place just one. Path how big is the, how big them. is the tile set for A then? So tile set A is split up into sections. So like these top ones where it ends with the poisonous plant. Yeah. Those two rows are one tile set. Then it goes down to the bottom of the plants. Uh, so, that, you're, so you're allowed to say, hey, tile set A is going to refer to several different PNGs. Uh, and open because up, it's A, it's system. animated and stretchy. Tile sets A. A1, A2, A3, A4, A5. Okay. So under A, you can reference each one of those sections. So if you look, Castberg is the one that I did myself, and it only shows that little grate. But the actual master version, it's just a little bit bigger. It uses some weird equations and stuff to figure out how it stretches and it still looks good. But Because you, you only need to draw, I think it's a 2x2 two two or a 3x3, three three, and then it goes from there. So, so, so go, go back to that. So tile set A is very so, special. So those are all the tile sets, right? These are like the, these does, are does, say groups. These are groups, groups. And these are the individual PNGs that each group so draws So each group from. has its own A1? For animated Technically, no. Or... So these PNGs can be reused. I can use the same A1 for animation for every single tile set if I want to. So when I make a new map, when I make a new map for in the game, mm -hmm. I specify which tile set I want it to use, which group of PNGs I want it to use. And then in the group, I specify which actual PNG file that it reads. And then from and we, I can reuse as many as I want. D and E, those are the standard ones where we showed you with the grid on it. Yeah. Those are, they are made side by side, and but it static. displays them vertically. Okay. It moves half of that file underneath it so you can scroll. Yeah. Oh. So you can see that. It was placed next to each other. Yeah, as you saw, that was, a, it's a square, but like it gets... It doesn't really matter, because technically you can still grab this half and this half. It's just a little bit harder to work with if the one half of the fountain was up here and the other half was down here. Okay. But technically you can still, it still works. It so each group has its own A, P, and G listing, potentially, if you wanted to. If you wanted to, yes. You can have as many actual tile set images as you want. That's what, okay. Yeah, so that's, that's why okay, this that, folder yeah, that's what I figured. is I was just making sure. huge because we can reference anything we want. It's not like the system one to where it's very, very limited. The only thing that's limiting is we have B, C, D, and E for normal tile sets. That's A, all we can use. A is very custom and it's only used for walls and such. Those are placed everything on top of walls and like all the cracks, all the barrels, all the roofs. B, C, D, and E is all the items per se, the extras, the flowers, the trees, yeah. the barrels. The, so we the... only get those four, and then A is the world, essentially. Okay. Interesting. The special roofs end up being on D. We've decided to take that trade off because the special roofs are just worth it. Because there's so many different roof colors, instead of having a different... We didn't want these four roof t colors, five, six. And they're very flat, static roofs. They don't 
expand into how a lot of our roofs look. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we'd basically be stuck with half of our, with our entire game, the roof's just looking like this. Every house is just a box. No. I like that. These are nicer. Like a couple of these is fine, but, like, we didn't want the entire well, game. Well, yeah, you don't want to be, you want some variety. Yeah. <laughs> so that's why we get, we traded off for that. That and, uh, like, some of them we need to modify so we add, like, extra stuff. Like, on one of the tile sets that we have, it's literally just this bed thing. And I could probably take off half of these that we actually use and then use the other half for something else. So, it's about compressing things and making them fit on that one square. Yeah. As well as you can, but each... So each tile set's only going to go off one thing anyway. Each map only goes off of one specific tile set group. Yep. And our maps are very large, so we have to... So you have so each so each map potentially needs its own one PNG, and you got to fit enough on there to make it work. Yeah, it can have up to those four... Uh, those four sheets, so I have to fit all my tiles on, on four those. So each map is four sheets. Yeah. So you have to compress a lot of shit. I mean, technically the fifth with A, but we don't really touch A because that is our world. Yeah. And it starts to uh, affect everything else. It'll look drastically different if you start messing with the A. The only A that's actually really been changed is Dawnfall. Because the grass really is greener in Dawnfall. It physically is greener. Yeah. yeah. So A was modified, as you can see, to have dark green grass. That's about it. Even well, then, we kept the regular grass. A is essentially the same because it is the groundwork. So we have four tiles, four tile sets to work with. One is like your default, and then B, C, and D is whatever extra you need. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. And generally, the first B page is mostly the same mostly. across the board, too. Uh, like. Because B, the first B page. It has a lot of stuff that we the use. The nature. It's yeah. the extra yeah. nature stuff, like the trees and the barrels and stuff like that. And the fireplaces. And then C, D, and E kind of get random Those from are, there. Yeah. Well, yeah. D, we usually dedicate for roofs, but C and E are something entirely random every time. In this case, we have two pages of roofs because it's Dawnfall and there's so many buildings. We didn't want we didn't them to look all identical. To be identical. So. That makes sense. So. Yep, there's a... <laughs> So many dials. That and I, technically, if we need so even more. more, we can technically add an event and draw the image for the event from whatever tile set we want. Oh, technically, we still have to be in the certain tile set, but we could also design um, the event to look as whatever we want to. So there's that, there's that board that I was talking about. Go down. The yeah. quest board. Oh, yeah. I like that. That was nice. I yeah, like that's that. the quest board. I like that a lot. Very nice. Yes, we should um, use that. But anyway, technically we can design a character. So exactly like the quest board ass. is a character of sorts. It's technically animated, yeah. but the animation does nothing. So I can display it on the screen technically in one square, but it displays the whole thing. Oh, okay. Like, yeah. Like, so that's your way around your So, so events don't have go, to go off the normal tile set. You can Sephiroth. technically grab anything you want. Huh? Go to, to Sephiroth real fast. Yeah, so technically an event image, you can grab whatever image you want. From technically they're character images. They do have to be a certain size-ish. Yeah. But you can make that, you could have a million of them. Yes. yes. Okay, well that helps a lot then too. Yeah. yeah. Of course, events will take up more processing power because they generally have code behind them, but not always. So, but separate, still. the door is only that one block, but in-game, it displays as, as seen, the full... It's that big ass the full door. arch door. Because that... Click on it. It's a character. Is because it's that. the whole character, but it only grabs the little yeah, 48 just, by 48. Just, just because you. that's what's going to fit in the event square. Yeah. yeah. But it um, fills another, the whole thing. Another good example, actually, is what I was just showing you. Uh, Arcania. The bridge there um, in the cutscene... Is actually just this event. Uh, no, it's not. Which event is it? It's one of these events. Yeah. yeah. So this event here is actually the entire bridge that you walk on. Is this event. It's just spaced in a way. 
that it reaches all the way up there. So to, because so I had speaking, to that animate full the event bridge is doing the whole thing, but because you only have something in one place, it's only putting it there. That's the dope. bridge is a character, and all I'm telling the character to do is look left, look right, look down, and that's how I animated the bridge falling. That's awesome. Yep. That make see that helps a lot with making it feel more unique. Then so that if, way you're not if you need to animate something, you have to make it a character. Yeah. Besides, which isn't too hard. Besides the tiny little section of animated tiles on A. Yeah, which because because are a, an entirely different format. Well, yeah, because A is limited, but yeah. technically speaking, because you can do that with the PNG, you can make the character whatever you want it to be mm-hmm. and have it, any number of them that you reference. So. Yeah. You can also make things that don't fit in the tile set constraints, and you don't have to fill up the whole tile set. Like, yeah. With the quest board, that would have taken up eight slots. That's too many. But I can make it take up. But if you make it a none. character, it takes up none because you, you can reference any number you want. That's awesome. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yep. So that's your way around it. Is some of your more rare stuff, or some of your stuff that would need to be animated, or stuff, stuff like that that, that, that you, you can want to interact click on. with. That is like bigger or whatever. You can move to a character because it's going to have text behind it. It's perfect, anyways. Well, yeah. that's going to be great. So something like a barrel. I can I can, I can start making barrels, icons honestly, and extra stuff probably... for other characters and whatnot to help make it more unique, and then go into the maker and change them, and then you'll see the changes as so it goes the through. um the only thing that you can't reference is again those system icons. Those are locked to that's that the only box. thing really. But I, everything else. You can essentially just call a different picture. Yeah, the different character, yeah. as a character, it needs to be uh, whatever width you make the image. It'll be divided by three because the character is uh, got three different technical directions. For um, the center one, is standing still, looking at the camera, left, right, and then Here, towards open the up camera. A, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll open up a character yeah. image. I got it. Um, so whatever it uh, you can be any width, but divide by three, and that's your actual width of the character. You can so, technically divide it by four because this is your standard left. Well, right, yeah, I was up. talking. Yeah, four, divided by four on your height and three on your. So width. why is it repeated twice? That's. So look at his arm there. He's stationary, and then his arm. It's the walking animation. Oh! Walking animation for walking left, walking so right. That's how they're animated, away. is left to right. And that's I for a gotcha. character sheet. That's a character sheet which is different from what an you individual, did with the char- individual character, which is these ones with the exclamation point and the dollar sign tell the engine those, it's animated. Those are specific for things like that, where it's a character. Per se, it still yeah. needs but to be formatted not. like a character, which means I still have to divide it by three. In the it's in a three by four, four box grid. Correct, it's which can be any size, but you got to remember your constraints of the, your drawing or whatever. It has to fit has within to fit at with least that. one of those rectangles, exactly. and then you just duplicate it. So you kind of have to do your that. math of yeah, basically yeah, yeah, yeah. you draw it whatever size you want, then <laughs> multiply the width of your document by three and the height of your document by four. And you're good. You can just animate however you want, or make it all the same, or whatever. That uh, technically, you don't so even. So that's have why to they added that. the exclamation point, money sign symbol, because the engine reads that and says, "Hey, this is an animated thing. It's different Divided than up regular characters." Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. This is a interesting a character item essentially. Yeah, but yeah, um, the, the characters you can just name whatever yeah, you want. So the fire, fire is technically a character. If you look at fire, um, this is the walking animation. So all we do is to have for, to have the fire burn, we just tell the event that it's always walking. Yep. It's always stepping. So if the event is always stepping, then it's going to constantly cycle through that animation well, yeah, of the fire. That makes perfect sense. And it, that's how the fire works. That's awesome. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, the, the engine's pretty straightforward. <laughs> yeah. Once you get... Once you understand how it works, it's the easiest. It's it's super easy. Yeah, well, you'll you'll have to s- send me the. I'll send Google, you the Google Drive at some point. Yeah. I have to get Photoshop, and then I have to figure out how to, to get and sync the RPG Maker to do it. 
and then yeah. I can start making icons and learning how to change that stuff. Yeah. And then, and then as you guys keep making the game and fixing it, icons and PNG mm -hmm. sheets will just start showing up, and you'll be like, oh shit, the key. Ed, there's a key icon now. Oh shit, the sword has its own icon now. Oh, oh shit. shit. Yep. So like an animated oh, water beans. wheel. Oh, beans. We got a key icon. <laughs> yep. Oh, beans. Hey, man. We don't have one right now. Sure, uh, we will. Here's, yes. a, here's a rock slide that displays over the whole map when you're walking on Route 2. Remember? And you don't yeah. even notice it. Nope. I photoshopped it to blend perfectly in. And because it actually displays a picture. the tile set would have been fucking horrendous to put that on the tile set. Yeah. Because it's all like muddled and morphed together and off-center. That I took the tiles and then I just blended them all together, and I was like, "All right, here it is." Yep. Yeah, so, you're right. I didn't notice that at all. Yep. Because I I took a Secret original to I took a original screenshot, and then those extra tiles and added on top of it. There's actually a plugin that you can get that while you're playing the game, you can hit a button, and you can take bits and pieces that you have in individual files, what they call doodads in the plugin, and you can place them anywhere on the game and then hit the save button. So when you finally export it, it reads through that file and uh, makes the changes that you've made. Makes the changes, but you won't ever see them in the engine. You only ever see them when it loads the game because that's when it loads those that's doodads. So you could have uh, let's say this room mm -hmm. well then I do the doodad things and I have another carpet like going down the stairs and I have some crazy whatever over here the engine will just look like this or say the room's empty and then each one of those is a doodad when I load up the game they're all there that's going to make it and a lot more confusing though when you're it, it is confusing because so you I, don't see them on the engine that's why we kind of went against it. Yeah, I, I would agree with that statement. That, that's... But everything is grid-free, so I could move the clock slightly over. I can move the picture down a little bit. I can do... Yeah, there are, there are benefits, but there are also non-benefits. Like yeah. the fact that if you're doing stuff in the engine and you don't know it's there, you're now going to have engine things overlapping doodads a lot yeah. that you then have to change while playing it. Yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's why get really we confusing. were kind of iffy on it. Um, that and Adam found another plugin that uh, yes. he can, if he wants to make something off the grid, he just references it as a uh, uh, note tag. as a event, Cast and then there's a small note. So like this, this scale in game appears on the table because I told it to go y uh, y offset negative thirty four. X offset twenty one, so it's like and you're telling here. it to. So you're telling it to go off the grid, just like the box of cats. Yeah, he he tells the picture to move up a little bit, and then that's readjust. what I did with these. That's why that's why these were all weird because I I hadn't physically looked to see how they looked, what they looked like. I did actually fix these ish. I actually haven't looked. Can you uh, load up his game and see, go to? I still have game? the game open. I was yeah. still doing things. Cool. Well, next time we get a shot. A chance. I want to see how cast. Works. Um. Did, did you have anything else in your inventory? No. Uh, I already added the money, and Adam already added all the number of things. It was yeah. just the upgraded sword, the oh. chest plate, and. Did I give you a, a chest plate? Yep. Times one. Okay. Most weird, most weird sandwiches. Oh yeah, I need to do this, and I need to teleport you to the proper map. Woohoo! Yay! <laughs> oh, God, that's an old-ass map. Oh, it is. <coughs> Holy shit. The event's still playing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's gonna take you here. I have to click through the event, or it's gonna keep playing. Because that's just how the event works. Is it looping? Yeah. Shit. Uh, 
old intro cutscene. This was literally just like a filler to be like, hey, originally when we had the character select, when we had two characters, you could walk in and be like, hey, do you want to be male or female? Na we used to be able to name your character. We took that out because we're like, eh, we want this to be the story of Catherine. Yeah, it works. I mean, the uh, ah, damn it. old Route 2 has gone through a lot of changes. We changed tile sets on the fly here. So that you could see Casper from the outside that shows this current tile set. And then as you walk past this part on the on the path, it flips it to the Casper tile set so everything looks right. Interesting. Yeah, we did fix that so you didn't have to do that, I believe. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> do that. I, it keeps trying to do Dexter stuff. Double fix the Dexter. It's part of the battle engine. So, uh... Double kick's the best because it does twice the damage, and if you, and the chances of you missing twice are astronomical. While it can happen, it probably rarely will, if ever. Because it's an 80% chance... That it's that each attack will hit. So, um, this testing room is fun. <laughs> snip, snip. <laughs> so this um is basically impossible for a regular player to find in game, but you can actually technically get it, get into it whenever you want. So, uh, this is actually the tutorial map, by the way. This is what we started with. This is like Say. an overworld thing. You can choose Colton or Catherine. Oh, nice. Boy. That still exists. Technically, yes. Um, so this tree here. What weapon are you proficient with? Why are you doing this, sword? I, I just teleported to it. And this is the old map here. Oh, yes. that used, That's the old spot where you'd uh, teleport to. So, uh, so this is another old version of the map where the dock was only here. It wasn't attached to Tutoria. It was just the dock. Ah. So I copied it over. Oops. To get to the testing world. Oh, you're you going to show it on stream? Wow. Oh, wait. Yeah, we probably shouldn't. No, yeah. we, I think we already have, haven't we? Probably. Probably. Oh. I never found it, but then I probably wasn't doing it. So. You no, have to do really a, abstract, abstract things. It's really weird. I don't even. I just don't explain it. Just do it. <laughs> well, I would if it didn't crash your computer. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, hold on. Let me do. Um, inside the Oops. testing world is a uh, a beaver. He's called the Achievement Beaver. Take it. You want to Hold on, I'll show him here in a second. They chose um, the I swear. We did it to uh, test the achievement plugin because RPG Maker doesn't, by standard, support Steam at all. Like most sucks. engines don't. Well, most engines really. Well, don't. yeah. But to get Steam achievements, we got a plugin for it. So in order to test it, because it's so weird and it has to like contact Steam servers and shit, and it, it's just weird to set up. Does Brandon remember how to do his question? Um, nope, Brandon doesn't remember how to do it. Do you, do you want me to show you how to do it, Brandon? I remember it's something fucking weird. It is fucking weird. So, hold escape. On this one? And then and then go down and on the same event, on the same tile. Oh, it's this hold one. Hold shift and then... Yeah, it's that one. Mm. I was doing the wrong, the wrong yeah. part of the tree. Okay. Psst. Hey kid, you want the uh, chain Any back? retro title inspired this creation? All of them. I'm a glutton. I'm a glutton. Okay then, but you gotta wait a while for them all to work. And then it basically just freezes your game. If you don't have any achievements at this point, they'd start 
ticking up, and I put a weight in between so you don't like this is a flood free you. steam. But but yeah, it forces you to wait. You can't you can't do anything. But they'll all pop up. So you'll see here in a second uh, when it's done. Anyway, uh, retro retro title. Yeah, I mean we take some some inspiration from like Legend of Zelda stuff like that. Um, as far as the story goes, it's inspired by, or I should say the mechanics are inspired from like Full Metal Alchemist and Avatar: The Last Airbender. Um, story itself is kind of our own story. I don't think the story itself, aside from the gameplay and the like alchemy, I think is nope. just kind of we have every achievement as of that date. Mm -hmm. You can also remove them for the, the crab. Snip, snip. Snip, snip. Uh, <laughs> it does the same thing but opposite and forcefully removes your achievements That's off of Steam. That's it will crazy. rip them off of your account. <laughs> wow. Now, testing, I don't, it doesn't do anything when you're testing, right? Nothing when you're testing, but, but it will rip them off of your account and That's you'll have zero hilarious. achievements. That's hilarious. Snip, snip. Snip, snip. Oh, I gotta find that auto format plugin because I don't like how it puts commas on our yeah. numbers. But it, he does the same thing, but opposite. He just doesn't talk. He just goes S -s 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 like if if this were a three D game, it'd just be a crab that just like. S -s -s you feel the weight on you is lighter. You might have no achievements. Yep. And you can go to your Steam account, and it'll be just blank. That's fucking hilarious. But I mean, the music is super broken here. Oh yeah, listen to the music. I wrote this myself <laughs> on purpose to sound like shit. See, it sounds like it's slightly off key. Oh, it's, I literally went and went like this. <laughs> I like how like pieces of trees are missing, and it's like a lamppost that ends in a hay bale. And yep, yep. Just uh, the the pond that he's next to. There's a cabinet. Some random barrels. <laughs> a weird stretch barrel. Yep. There's a. Oh yeah. We also <laughs> added that. Nice. Where you can get unlimited gold from here. Give you one gold. That's uh, fucking hilarious. And the only way out is through this hole. <laughs> but you can teleport to different places. <laughs> yeah. Uh, eventually, we were going to add like a more, and you can just teleport to a bunch of different places. Uh, we'll go back to Tutoria. And it puts you right there on the dock. It's fucking awesome. <laughs> the testing room is really obnoxious, and if you can figure out how to get into it, then. Enjoy. Congrats. Yeah, enjoy. Yeah. Enjoy all of the achievements. It's kinda or like, none of them. <laughs> it's kind of like uh, playing uh, Diablo and getting the cow room. The cow dungeon, whatever. Yep. It's kind of like that. Where probably eventually we'll make it even more hidden. But we just wanted something fun to where if you wanted to just totally break the game, screw it. Here mm -hmm. you go. <laughs> Have something... Really funny with custom music, custom characters. Even those characters are going to be voice acted. I'd hope so. They're, uh, they're never going to be referenced in the actual game. If people look into the files, they're going to be like, what? Achievement Beaver? <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> snip Snip Crab, what the fuck is that? Yeah. So uh, it'll be funny things like that. That's what makes and the then, game good. Yeah. Oh, that's. Just little tiny secrets. Yeah. Well, you're definitely gonna it's, you're definitely gonna have to give me access to the drive and the. Oh yeah, we got what? you. What? No one that matters. Yeah. It's the only mailbox in the game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so far. So, so far. far. Um, yeah, I don't know what's uh, reformatting the numbers. Message core doesn't seem to have anything about it that it tells me at least. Oh, I'll, I'll find something. Um. Oh, yeah, what was I doing? Where were you supposed to be? Oh, Sephirin... Sephirin 2. Sephirin. Tell me what number that is. Uh, okay. Alchemy... Sephirin Town No Church is... 27. Wait, no. 165. I was gonna say. Go. 
You have your time in Sephiroth. There's no vent this time. Mm -hmm. These are all events. I must have ticked a switch to burn those. Whoops. Yep. I, yeah, those are all events, so we could switch them later on. Uh, is this an actual thing here? What? This what tile. What is that? Does I have... No, there's nothing on the tile. That's just uh, there. Oh, wait, no. Zoom in. The bottom corner bit? Yeah. yeah. What, what That egg thing. Egg-looking thing. It is this corner right here. We copied and pasted the flower from there to there. Lol. So copy it from the other wait. corner. No. It's here. a separate layer. Just... There you go. It was just on a weird layer. I was just going to say copy the flower from here and paste it over it, and then it would have been fine. It's fine. I took care of it. Okay. Yeah, he fixed it. Is it a regular Stefan? But, yeah, he just copied yes. it from this corner, which has that corner piece in it. That's always been there, and we've never noticed. <laughs> That's really funny. So you did it on both now? Yeah, he did it on both. Okay. So now there's a guard. He says nothing, mostly because there is supposed to be that thing there, but you're venting. Your switches are messed up because mm -hmm. I didn't take that one. But he's guarding the exit hole from the tunnel. Yeah. It, in a normal game, it will appear there. Um, they're supposed the that. flags are supposed to be burnt. It's church fire when that's on. Someone burns the uh, sure, flags sure. too. Apparently. Okay. Sure. Sure. It makes sense. Yeah. Okay. So that's there. Um, but now the church isn't there. Yep. So it's a totally different Zephyr, and you can you can play again. Sweet. Yeah, Sorry, you're... I was taking over your save file. No, you're good. You were trying to fix shit. Because <laughs> I came back and I it was not the correct thing, and you were like, "Well, that's not supposed to happen." Well, that's yeah, now, now you're on the correct map, and from here, like the exit door is linked to the next part of the game. Yeah. When we start changing maps again. Yeah. Okay. It was just you hadn't ticked the first event. So it went over to that, but now. That so it you, went to the first event immediately. So it now that you've yet. ticked that over, yeah. and I forcefully put you on this map, you'll be fine going forward. Okay, cool. Should be. You should. Yeah. You'll be all right. Oh yeah, you were supposed to take the hot seat today. I was, and here I am. It wasn't hot before, but it is now. As Brendan likes to say, whatever seat I sit in, my ass warms it up apparently. So is Elijah. His seat's warm, too. Oh, yeah. The Gilded Sword. And the Unburst Plate. Good. I have equipped him. <laughs> you put those on. I finally I equipped him. Did it! I forgot to put those on for you. But now you can do definitely a lot of damage. Mom, okay. get the camera. Because that Gilded Sword is nice. Aren't I supposed to have alchemy by now, right? Like, I have the fire thing now, right? I hit level seven, six. So uh, you hit that. six and seven. Mm -hmm. uh, check your... Skills? Skill, yeah. Nope. Nothing. Nope. What? Nothing. Oh, also, uh, every time you start the game, Catherine is a different nature. Oh. So, you could technically get a better Catherine, because there's a few of them that boost or subtract different uh, parameters. Um, Interesting. So, uh, I did it within constraints of like different na different uh, like emotions Catherine could have, how she's feeling that day. Mm -hmm. um, in your version of the game, Catherine is bashful, but if you start the game again, she could be angry, and she gets an attack bonus. And the zodiac sign also changes some stuff too. Uh, the zodiac sign is always the same, because her birthday is always the same. Well, yeah. Yes. But, so she always gets this, but if you get another character, they would have some other thing. Interesting. And then, technically, females have this. Your, I don't know if this is actually being true. Shown now, by the way. Um, the what? I said your screen being shown now, by the way. It wasn't before. Oh, okay. It's on this one. So, elements. Her element is neutral, but it should be fire. Yeah. At this point. So, I don't think I had it change. No, it did <laughs> not change. Because she should have... Oh, it didn't change because it wasn't set correctly. It was adding it to the party, not the character. Well, I changed. did that. But well, I don't think I went this, through it again. This is in a different menu that I have oh. to... Oh. 
I have to set what element goes at least here. Um, skill types. Yeah, you should have skill types here, which I might have to do that in the plugin. That might be why it's not working. So under the elements and access, we might need to change that. And then a small biography and such. Okay. I think it's based on the plugin. Okay. It's weird because it sometimes worked though. Because all of the physical attacks work, the alchemy attacks don't. I know. It's based on Catherine not having access to alchemy in the, the plugin. What plugin am I looking for? Here. I'll, I'll get it. Okay. With plugins, Brandon and I trade off a lot because they're so different. Their plugins are so different from the engine that you kind of have to know what you're doing. Like the Quest plugin, Brandon almost never touches it. <laughs> and I he does it. it on purpose because I, he knows the way I set it up is so that I can basically read it. And it's because it's set up, each plugin is set up differently. It's not consistent like the engine is. So he don't, we don't want to mess something up from each other's plugins. So we just kind of. Yeah. Makes sense. Our own plugins. You're definitely gonna have to get me the, you know, the the Google Drive and stuff. And yeah. You'll have to figure. You'll have to, you know, get on Discord and show me how to oh, like yeah. link up the maker. And then once I get Photoshop going, well, once and you... learn that stuff, then I can start making icons. As far as RPG Maker, once you have the Google Drive synced, it's literally file open, and once you click on the project file, it knows where everything is. Okay. It should at least. RPG once Maker it costs money, doesn't it? It does, but it's it's not expensive. Okay, yeah. I, it's on I, Steam, I, so you can add it to your wish list. Yeah, so, I got it. I, I'll, I'll get it. I mean, it's expensive-ish, but as far as a software like like this, it's not too bad. Now, do I have to do anything specific for downloading the plugins, or does that just automatically happen? That, because, you, because that you're on our Google Drive. The Google Drive? Have. Okay. The plugins are in the game. The only thing that is separate that I have that I just gave... Adam access to, and in turn, you would character have access pieces. to it, is the character generator when you're creating characters, like their looks. Uh, that is in the engine, and usually you don't modify those, but I have a whole generator replacement folder. Oh. So it's 80, so just add it to your wish list. Um, it goes on sale a lot. It does. Yeah. Um, I mean, we when we bought MV the first time, we got it for like, what, 20 bucks? Yeah. Something like that. Uh, the next sale's coming up soon. So okay, it yeah. usually goes on sale. Sweet. Yeah, well, I can, I can at least get the Google Drive and the Photoshop going. Yeah, and Once that sure. goes on sale, then I'll be good. Hmm. So... We'll, uh, we'll have to... You'll have to get that to me so I can start making sure it actively works yeah, correctly. Yeah, bucks on a sale, says D757. So... Yeah. yeah. They go on sale quite a bit. Um, sucks because of its kind of iffy release it's uh it's got a got a little bit of a hit for the um reviews for mz because it's kind of rocky release that it had mm. there were some bugs with it that it had um it's mostly fine though yeah it's fine now like it crashes a bit more than mv did but so our save from MV, we kind of... Uh, <laughs> we hacked it into MZ. They're yeah. not technically supposed to be compatible. <laughs> we, um, once we got it open, we then followed every single error and individually fixed each error, a couple of which were the icon set images were the wrong size and incompatible and things like that. Um, a couple extra files that MZ creates were not... We present. had to create a new... Uh, 
a new game and copy over some of the system files from oh, shit. MZ into our MV converted game. Yeah. We did a whole wrap around to convert our game to MZ. We that, spent that was, hours. Uh, like a couple weeks. That was a couple yeah. weeks of just straight up working mm. to convert. Dude, like, God. for example, MZ. When you create a new project in MZ, it has a different default tile set. This is the MV de default tile set. Yep. Nice. Which is weird because we're in MZ. So the default game looks entirely different. The characters look different in the generator pieces, and every, everything looks we different. Even, we haven't even shown Elijah the character generator. No. The character generator is actually kind of fun. Here, you work on that. I'll show you. It's pretty cool. Oh. So this button right here makes characters. Mm. Now, obviously, again, like we said, this looks the about generator the same. looks weird. I mean, it's, it's in the same style. Yeah, it's a similar style. His eyes just look really weird. His eyes, I need like more dude-ish eyes. He looks like an old fucking man, and you gave him that hair. He's more like sunken, sad eyes. There we go. But you get the gist. You can kind of create each individual piece, which is um, fun. Actually, the the coolest thing about that character generator is all it does is create a PNG for you. That's all it does. You don't need any of the DLC or bundles, right? Uh, no. No, any of the RPG Maker uh, DLC stuff is allocated in our files and you wouldn't technically need them. Okay. We don't really use any of them anyway. Half no. the DLC, DLC is like more tile sets, which we don't, we're not going to use. And then other pieces that technically only one of us needs if we use it at all. Yep. Because once it's in the game files, it doesn't matter. Yeah. It, it doesn't look for Just DLC like the anymore. the character creator, all the character creator does is create a PNG file for a character. It just lets you design it without needing, like, Photoshop or anything. Technically, we could go in and create our own characters from scratch, but the character creator does it for us, so it's faster. So Makes sense. Because technically, I could go in and draw this character walking and all the battler stuff and the face... But by pressing a couple buttons here, I can export each face into a PNG, walk the character and choose which piece of the sheet I want it in. So if I import, and I import, uh, let's do like Bolton, I can add it to Bolton's page and just do export. All it does is modify the image. Technically, I could go into Photoshop and make images the exact size and individually draw the each individual cell. Yeah, that's really but hard, though. That why the fuck would I? Yeah, no. When this is specifically designed to do that task. It's really nice. Yeah. So, and all it does is create an image, which then you reference elsewhere in the engine. But that's it, it works. It's, it works better than you having to do that your fucking self. Yeah. Which we have done. Like the guard that carries a torch in Sephirin when he confronts you about Dexter. There's a guard carrying a torch. I had to go in and individually modify that guard for every frame to have his one arm up like this holding a torch and add said torch. Which it did, it wasn't too bad, but like, it wasn't great. I think it was one of those times, you know, famously, where you're like, man, this looks fantastic. Hey, why isn't Photoshop working? Hey, why can't I sit? Ah, oh, shit, it crashed. <laughs> I didn't save. And then you're just like, fuck, well, I don't feel like doing it again, so I'm just going to do it some other time. I have a feeling. I think, I think that happened. I feel like Brandon, uh... 
during my drunk tile set drawing phase, I feel like Brandon just every every couple minutes just kind of reached over to draw us. If I was Brandon, I would have, because I don't remember saving. Of course, I also barely remember that night. I do have a Snapchat story from that night. stories. So I can tell you exactly. It was July 16th, 2018. Uh, I brought all the shit that she had given me and uh, threw it in a fire at Brandon's old house. Nice. And that was the night I got fucking wrecked. Nice. <laughs> Vegas Farms. Woo! Party! Who snapped me? Oh. Your girl snapped me. What'd she say? Is it she wanted, no, she wanted to know about my bathroom. Oh, because you were talking about how you are going to do yeah. that. Well, I posted on my, on my uh, story, so... How am I supposed to get there? Get where? To Dawnfall. Oh, that's not Dawnfall. Am I not going the right way? You are. <coughs> Just Oops. that specific way, like towards Buddha, is not uh, Dawnfall. Because I've been this way before. This yes. Where yeah. I went last time. You went down to the right. Hey, look, there's that big picture that you don't notice is a picture that's offset right now. So you notice it's a picture. Mm-hmm. Oh, Jesus. Why the fuck is it offset? I don't know. Not sure, but it's slightly offset, so I was about to say it's a picture that you can't tell, but you can definitely tell. Gross. That needs to be fixed. Okay. Um. Oh, this is another thing that didn't get fixed. Hmm. This isn't supposed to be... Well, no, that's because I that's because I didn't read. He was trying to fix things by flipping all those switches, but as soon as I left the town, it redid the thing of her telling me to get lost because I killed the guy. Mm. And now it's raining because it triggered that, and now it wants me to sleep because of that reason. You can you can just run past it. That was the funny part. I was like, Are you running or walking? I am running. This is walking. Okay. It's not as fast as you think it is. No, it's not. <laughs> uh, just go north. It's going to be raining indefinitely now. Yep. Because it, you it'll clear the weather eventually. No, it won't. Because the rain clears when you go to sleep in the... Okay, you can go back and go to sleep if you want. It doesn't matter. He's just going to have the one file in the world to... Uh... Uh, that's Arcania. Where's the Dawnfall? Is that the landslide? Is to go to Dawnfall? Look on the map. Yeah, that's the that's the landslide that's not supposed to be there. That's probably why it's broken, because it's not supposed to be there. Yeah. And it's yep. It's not supposed to be there, but it's there. Mm -hmm. So that landslide, rock slide, is not supposed to be there anymore. Yes. It's been cleared up so I can get to Dawnfall. Yeah. So go back down that way. I mean, you're gonna pass it anyway. Well, just, so you might as well um, sleep. Yeah, just might as well sleep to get rid of the rain, and then just literally control through it. Yeah. That that was the other thing. Well, you got to remember to repair that. Yeah. Well, actually, we should probably don't need to because of. Uh, it's just the switches are all messed up. Um, oh, it might not. Well, that's true. We don't necessarily know if it would be broken or not. Yeah, that's also a true statement. Where... So, if you go through this. Change the trait set element's supposed to be there. Yeah, you can tell it's a picture because it's fucked up on the yeah. trees. I didn't even notice that. Uh, when it's set straight, Properly. it's perfect. It's perfect and you can't tell. It's only because it's offset because it's not supposed to be there. Yeah. So that's the way to Dawnfall. So that's a totally new area. Wait. Oh, there's Townsley's. Okay. This place is, like, brand new. Don't, I wouldn't even go in. I don't, think he, I don't think he says anything. Yeah, Obviously not. I'm going to go in. Fuck it. It's raining inside. That's hilarious. Yeah, none of, All these people exist, but none of them do anything. Yeah. 
I think all their events are set to be above the player, even though they, I'm pretty sure they say something. Do they? You can check. I, I'm not. How I'm, do I care? Hold on, I can. Route, I want to say route four or five. Yep, it's route four. It's route four. four. Oh shit. Um, I'm just gonna keep route four. Count four east Townsleys. No, yeah, they're all here. We'll double click. They're same as characters. They just don't have anything in the events. So okay. do no, they 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 have events. They just don't have anything in their events to do anything with it. Yeah. So so they, they have correct, events and they're they ready and they're on the same correctly. and they're on the correct level. They just don't do anything. Yeah. Thought, <clears throat> that's good to know. I thought they had something. <coughs> Let's hope the exit event works. Hey, look at this. Woo! Yeah, I looked up the doors. So there's Townsleys. You'll go to your right. If right. you go to your left, it goes back to Route Three. Oh. There's a shortcut this way but there's a broken bridge that we haven't accomplished uh getting fixed yet you can just control through that so that's also a problem uh, we never too. created an event for that how do you fix it that's the thing we never wrote in the story how to fix that we forgot that that bridge is broken uh, well sadly yeah. there's no jumping where you could just have them jump across mm -hmm. Technically, there is jumping, but only in certain areas. I'll make it that area, then. There you go. You, just you don't and fix the bridge. Keep going jump. to your right. What's this way? Um, more north, north stuff. But if you want to go to Dawnfall, that'd be right. Well, there's no sign that says Dawnfall. So yeah. Right. I know. There it is. It's Dawnfall. Oh, boy. <laughs> Control through that, because that's the old door thing that I haven't fixed in Dawnfall because no one's gone to Dawnfall and that's supposed to have a door on it. You know. If it doesn't physically have a door in Dawnfall, it's not going to do anything. Go Alright, I'm just curious. Awesome. Control, that's the same thing. And now you can go in. Hooray! Yeah, we'll have to fix those. Um, you might be the first person in the to go through the story far enough to actually get to Dawnfall. The only way to go into a building is to... Uh, oh, this scarecrow isn't triggered. He was, at one point. Um, only way to get hey, He doesn't talk to you because you haven't gone through the rest of them. <laughs> Damn it, I knew it was going to be fucked up. Whatever. I, I, on this I tried to enable as many scarecrows as I could. Oh. Yeah, well, they don't go by switches anymore, remember? They go by the variable. Oh, they do. Poop. Yeah, so everything's going to be super fucked up. I can't get out of this building. Yep, and now you're stuck in here. Okay. Well, save your game there. Just not in the doorway, so I can add an event there. Yep, I'm right here. Whing. We'll just quit out of this at the moment. So, element's supposed to be fire. How do I get, um, why the fuck is this place so fucking big? It's this place is fucking huge, dude. It's the capital city. Which house is this? Uh, go to, first you switch over, so you're on the events tab, go over to the tile set tab. How do I do that? Click this? There. Yep. Oh. And then go to R, region. We've given everything a number, so zoom in. Why is there a path in the fucking Oh, course? it's how you're supposed to be able to get to the Scarecrow, which is... Uh, make everything 22, because you can walk on crops right now. Oh. Make everything but those 22. Sure. Uh, if you go up here to the square... To the... Next to the pencil. This? Yep. 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 Click that, and then you can just drag a box. Oh. 22. So those crops you're not supposed to be able to walk on, but it's a maze to get to that scarecrow. <laughs> Which, I kind of did a dick move there, and uh, it's a super easy way to get to it. And if you go through the maze, you still can't get to him. Wow. <laughs> Actually, yeah, you get stuck, right? If you go all the way through it, you get stuck. Because you can't go all the way through. Yeah, you have to go back. Yeah. <laughs> 
Because the scarecrow, the scarecrows are supposed to be hidden, and there's going to be a deeper meaning behind them. So I didn't want, like, I was trying to make them increasingly harder, instead of just walking up and saying hello. So this one I hid in a field, and you have to figure out the puzzle. Do one zoom in. Did you just save? Yeah. Shit. Should I not have done that? Yeah. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> Technically, we shouldn't have told him to do anything. We should have told you to do it. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. I don't think any changes he's made are gone now. It's fine. I haven't really made he any hasn't. changes. I was just looking at stuff. So it's house one, actually. That's how you know? It's because it has a little yes. marker that says yep. the thing? Yeah, so okay. we have done okay. that across so, most maps if they have an interior. Yeah, there's no there's no event on the inside. Uh, actually, there is. There is an event. Does it just not do anything? Transfer player... Oh, action button. So do trigger... Player touch. touch. Player touch. Is is okay. it supposed to be below? Yes. Okay. Apply. Okay. Okay. And you just saved again. <laughs> I was gonna go fix what I was fixing. Well, I, I don't. I'm and, not gonna save anymore. I'm not saving yeah. anything anymore. Don't. I'm not gonna open up the game yet because I need to. No, I, I wasn't. I, I wasn't going to add to. something to that doorway. I was gonna fix the doorway. I fixed the event. We moved on. To so whatever. I could fix your class and such. Oh shit! You're just gonna add that to that. And then what, you're going to remove it as soon as you do that? Essentially. Okay, sure, I just, fine. I just wanted to fix your save, but the easiest way to do it is through an event, but I have to get you to use said event. Yeah. Yep, yeah, well, you you can update. It'll put you in the house anyway, which means yeah. you're already there. So I know. now you can do whatever you need to do. But I also need to fix it when it's supposed to be that in the first place. So this needs to be Catherine. Oh, it's, oh, it's, it's out. There, you can bring it back in. Okay. Change Catherine to that. Then do plug-in command of uh, element status core. Oh, shit. I need to go to the bathroom. I don't know what it is. Uh... All right, I'm back. Hello, once again, Udi. Can't believe we have five people watching. Very nice. Who else here? Who else here? Sound off. We're going to play fastest to the keyboard, I'm going to call it, with with Adam. First person to say I'm here gets 100 bonus points. Go. And look at that. Yay. <coughs> Yay, Minecraft. All right. Hmm. 
I have to freaking work tomorrow. You do. I don't want to. I've been off. Five days now. It's been really nice. I'm a closer, I guess. Which I'm going to consider a good thing. I'm going to wait this a little bit. Excuse me. Thank you so much for all the new people here today. Yo. Um, Weird six six three is new. D seven five seven has been here before. Um, I think he's a prime prime sub as well. Um, but uh, he hasn't been here in a little while. Uh, the nerd mansion um, is new here. Uh, we've had a lot of new people today, so I really appreciate all you new people here. It's been fun. Every Tuesday, y'all guys are great. Hey, we do our best. Um, every Tuesday night, 6.30 Eastern, we'll be here. Ain't that right, Elijah? What are we talking about? Huh? What are we talking about? Just say yes. Yeah, yeah, I don't have a new bottle as well, so we'll be all good. God damn it. I don't always drink on stream. The only reason I brought anything uh, was because we had the potential to hit 150. Why, uh, why did we, what, what happened? So I said, uh, who all is here? First person to say they're here in chat gets 100 bonus gold, gold coins. So, oh. weird said he's here, so. You can do that? Yes. Is there a limit? Technically, no. Ooh. <laughs> the limit is what I say you can add. <laughs> we can also take away. Oh, interesting. We that have the streams. Power. Better be here then. D757 Gaming. Yeah, there's a stream store. Gonna lose what? shit. Wow. Just pushing our merch on it. Push the Actually, merch, I'm baby. Let's go. I'm not showing any merch. This is all like the stuff you can buy with gold coins. Oh, yeah. No, the merch. Oh, no. Oh, he's going to merch, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry. The merch is on our website on hingellc.com. We apologize. You didn't even type slash, exclamation point site or links or anything. If you're gonna you, do it, do it properly. You can tell Adam's really good at this. This is usually. Uh, why? Why do right. we have a? Why do we? Why? Why do we Call have a? Young. Why is that the design? Why, What's the high five, five for? Because we, we high five, five every time. Every time we go oh, got it. It's us high fiving. Yeah, it's literally us. Brandon on the left, man. I have questions yeah. about the merch, but I'm not going to ask until oh, yeah. after the stream it's... is over. We're, <laughs> we're going to no, get better merch. Don't get worry. A special version. No, that's not what I'm asking. I'm, no. I was. I have a different question. No. Well, we're also getting better merch. It's probably. I, I, it's a. It's a question I don't necessarily want to ask on stream because it's a lot of behind the scenes shit, and I'm curious. That's good. That's what I was yes. hoping was the answer. Okay. So eventually when we get like, uh, you know, figurines or plushies, well, that is when that we one. will have a shitload oh, of Oh, figurines stock. are going to be, are going to sell really well. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen some ones you have upstairs and I'm like, oh, there's no way there's no figurine. Have you checked behind the Oh, no, I've seen it. Curtain? No, yep, I've seen it. Oh, you look behind the curtain? Oh, yes. Yes, I have. Okay. That'll be nice eventually. Yeah. Here, have another sticker. There, there's going to be like uh, 10 of them that I can't sell 
that or we'll oh. just be like, yeah, <laughs> here, have yeah, a figure. Here's no book. Here, have That's a figure. That's actually really cool. Yeah. But other than that, like, one of them I'll probably give away just because. But the other ones, like, I'll have one, I'm Adam will have one. Seal. So on and so forth. You'll give them to the people that worked on it and stuff. Yeah. Sweet. So the figures will make... We'll make up the rest of our uh, investment in the ones that we sell, just because we have to. But <laughs> Stop I'm, I'm, trying to poach your merch, Adam. I'm, Jesus. Uh, trying not to make them uber expensive. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm going to try to get a limited batch, and then, like, eventually I want to do some sort of plushie. But the plushies I have to order and have boxes what full. What would you make plushies of? Uh, we could make a plushie of the chicken. I think we should make a plushie of the snip snip crab. <laughs> that would be funny if but people no knew would. about it. <laughs> yeah, true. If if it was a known thing. It doesn't have to be a known thing. People go on the website and go, why the hell is there a crab here? And eventually somebody finds it. <laughs> He'll be fucking... God, what's his name? Your crab what, No, what's his name? Oh no! Or we have a crab beef. from Club Penguin. Oh, the poor guy. Oh, the fucking the the polar bear was it? Harold was his name, yeah. I think. Harold the polar bear, and then there's... what was his crab's name? I don't know. Shit! But the crab wasn't even evil. He was just there. I mean, he'd know because he like set a trap on you or something. He sniffed you, but I guess that's because Harold said so. Yeah, Harold told him to do that. But I mean, like. It would be really funny to have on the website. Klutzy. Yes. It's klutzy. A, uh, Fucking klutzy. A plushie pervert. of the we, Achievement Beaver the... in a trench coat. God like, damn it. holding... If you open up the coat, it's... it's achievements. It's uh, images of the achievements, like, inside yeah. of his coat. <laughs> klutzy. It's Herbert, uh, Herbert the Polar Bear. Not Harold. Herbert. Whatever. Well, I figured I would look it up because you were. Thank you. You were. You were, you were I was about I, to look it up, but you I had a keyboard, tell. so. Yeah, I, I could do it. Appreciate quicker. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're the best. Thanks, man. Love you, bud. I know. Love you too, bro. Yeah, those Doritos have been here for like a year. Do <laughs> these Doritos expire? I just want to know how far out of date they are. Right here. Are they technically uh, like moldy? No. When did they expire? Uh, two months ago. Yeah, they're only two months old. 15th of June, 2020. Do you remember when I ate that... 2021. One? Remember when I ate that sour candy out of your drawer and got sick? <laughs> Do you remember that? No! I can't remember you. I was for a sleepover when you were in the room that Philip used to be in. Yeah, And you oh, opened the drawer and had old? that candy. And I ate the candy and then the next day when I woke up I started throwing up in your bathroom. <laughs> and my dad had to come get me because I got sick <laughs> of this fucking candy. You remember I that think shit? I told you not to eat it too, and you're you like, "Yeah, hey, that'll be fine." I was like, oh, "I got an iron stomach, it's whatever." And then I got sick. <laughs> like, okay, that seems whatever. like something you would do. Yeah, exactly. Uh. Or the time that I ate the entire head of lettuce from your fridge, you got yelled at. I remember that too. Uh, yeah, because for just eating lettuce, playing you're... World at War. You fucking rabbit! You would do that. There yep. was the there was the the night that Philip got all pissed at us. I, what was he mad at us for? I don't remember. Philip gets mad at us. Probably just because he wanted to play and we're like, dude, like, we're, we're there's like no room for you. We're not going to do a three-way well, we're not going to split the screen fucking three ways. I don't even think you can do that in World of War. I don't think so. I don't remember. Remember all the nights we stayed up in that room and played Spongebob Battle for Bikini Bottom? <laughs> well, there was a time <laughs> but what happened was um... <laughs> <laughs> Philip was all pissed that we wouldn't let him yeah. play World of War with us. Yeah. So I did World of War. So he was like, I would I could kick your I could kick your ass with a hand tied behind my back. Alright, fuckhead, bring it on. So we literally set up like a tripod for Elijah to record with his iPod touch for Elijah to sit there and record it. And we're like, Alright, this is Philip brother versus brother, Philip versus Adam. <laughs> I it was I even forgot to turn the timer off. And I beat him within the time limit. On free for all, I hit the point limit, which is hard to do as hard as fuck to do with one person. Um, the only time I died was when I killed myself to reset the the my kill streak. I let him kill me. It was like twenty something to one or two or something. Hmm. 
And uh, at the time, we were like 14, and he said, I forget what word he said, he said like fuck or something that he wasn't allowed to say. And we're like, oh, cool, and now we got blackmail, too. And like every time we were in your parents' van riding somewhere, we'd play it on, on the screens. It was fucking amazing. It was a really good movie. I remember, I the, I remember the bucket final. of, like, the ecosystem bucket Brandon had in his room. He had, like, a bucket of water that was, like, there forever. Oh, and we used it to, like, disintegrate, a, like, a horse card oh, that I got we, from Christian. He would put, uh, <laughs> like, air fresheners <laughs> in and whatnot. Oh, this water was black. I, I'm surprised <laughs> the plastic bucket wasn't, like, melting from the water. That water was nasty. <laughs> I'm surprised we didn't get mold. Yeah, we right? <laughs> Jesus. Maybe that's why I'm allergic to mold. Like, <laughs> holy shit. Oh, God. It was so bad. You open that bucket, and I swear to God, a, cl- a skull in a cloud would come up off the water. <laughs> oh, man. That was insane. Oh, or the, uh, the mounds of just shit that I had in my room. <laughs> It, um, at any given oh. point, you could have died. Yeah, right? <laughs> Remember? Your room was nuts back Remember then, Remember the night we played Little Big Planet 2 twice over? Yeah, to try to get everything? Yeah. Oh. Oh, we, used to, we used to make levels in that all the time. We did. I think uh, I still have my copy. for a minute. Closing I engine? Think I still, yeah, I think I still have my copy. Weren't you guys supposed to be like Little turning the stream off, or did you already turn it off? No, we're still streaming. Oh, oh. We're, yeah, we're still going. I thought you were talking about. I thought that's why we were talking about merch because we were close. We were. No, he just muted stream. it for a second. Oh. When I came back from the bathroom, I thought you were ending the stream. <sighs> no, Adam was just saying thanks for all the people. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for people. Uh, you probably absolute... open it now. If you open it here, you should be good. What did you do? I changed. What I changed again. Did when you, you saved? Oh, did you get the uh, the alchemy fix and whatnot? I think so. So you can just play test now, and okay, you should we'll be see. in that room. And when you you should be able to walk out the door. I forgot to fix the rain, but open up your uh, menu and then go to status. There, there it is. Cost AP. I don't have. Yes. So. What happened is... Oh, I have stab now because I have the sword. sword. Yes. So what happened is your status, you were still under... Now I am fire. You were nothing. Super effective against water. I forced you to have fire because you didn't go through the cutscene to be able to get this status change Mm. that I programmed. So I did it on that door. And then now that you've done that, you have access to alchemy. These don't make any sense. So fire is super effect. Wouldn't it be the other way around? No, no, no. Hold on here. We'll just uh, pull up uh, fucking the thing. Drive AB Games artwork. I think it is. Okay, the alchemy circle. So here it is. Okay. So fire. Yeah. Water. Yep. Yeah. Uh, light. Wind. Mind, or earth, 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 wind, and mind. Okay. So our our rules are a bit different than normal rules okay. here. Okay. Give, give me the so, down. So, you are a fire alchemist. Uh, you can technically go to each different step with uh, kickbacks. Let me open the actual. What the fuck does Bible. that mean? kickbacks? So, let's say. Your fire, you want to do a light move, like blind somebody. Mm-hmm. You can, but you might blind yourself also. You might blind yourself. Uh, so if you want to do, if you're fire and you want to do earth alchemy, uh, you might. Uh, I don't know. We had we had limitations of each one. Uh, the book of alchemy. Here <coughs> so here's the book of alchemy. This shows the entire. Thing. So each human, should they possess alchemist blood, has only one alchemic variant which they can command. Contrary to the oracle, who controls all var- uh, all variants, there's also sub variants in each one. So fire as heat and combustion, ice and plants, metal, lava, etc. Um, 
mine variant was uh, extinct after the Great War. Um, so there's that circle using other elements. It is possible for an alchemist to use other variants. However, each variant has its natural opposites. The distance from one variant to the next is indicated by the alchemy circle. In order for an alchemist to use another variant, they must traverse the alchemy circle by means of a ritual. With no aid, each variant and alchemist must travel to get to their destination variant, including the destination itself, will give the user a reverse effect. To aid in the process, more alchemists are recommended to help the initiator traverse the circle. In lieu of other alchemists, artifacts may be used to ease the pain of traversion. However, artifacts receive the full force of any ill effects will not last forever. Traversing the alchemy circle without the use of artifacts or other alchemists will result will result in side effects proportional to the alchemy used. So this is actually coded in the game. The chart below is used is uh, as a general outline, although not all effects are linear. An alchemist could experience effects greater or less than the expected effects. So basically the lore says if you're trying to do a, a earth move and you're a fire alchemist, then you're going to get bad effect. Even though you're doing earth alchemy, you're going to get bad effects from light and earth because that, you traverse that direction. It takes that, the shortest way. And if you get to water, you're dead. Instantly die. Because you're a fire alchemist, you instantly die. You went <coughs> through too many things here. You got hurt by both of these. This one's really bad already, and this is your opposite the element. The further away so it from kills you, you it gets, the worse it's going to be. Now, to aid in this, you can have like a necklace or a ring or something, or a best case scenario, a light alchemist will help you get to Earth. So, so you, you really so, need to. Do so you'd Earth only spell. take the negative effect from the earth. You wouldn't take the negative effect yeah, from exactly. light because of the other alchemist. Or you can do the other way around. Is I don't know why you'd want to do this, but technically you can have an earth, an earth alchemist help you, and then you'd only take the light side of it. Yeah. So if you have, a, say, a medallion that protects you from light and a ring that protects you from earth, then you would technically have no ill effects until those things break. But you'd still die if you hit water. Yes. Even if you have water resistance, it doesn't matter because. Like, so if you so if, if you're an alchemist of a certain type and you try to use the opposite one from you, it kills gone. you. Okay. Yes. Um, but and it always takes the shortest distance. All right, so, so go down to the, the because chart. because the reasoning is why you would die. <clears throat> so go back up. You see how fire to water? There's two distances, yeah. and it always takes the shortest. If they're both there, you take all four. Oh, technically shit. all five. Yeah, so you would take the, the shortest distance is both of them. So you would receive the net of, negative effects of every single direction. That's why you die. So even it, if you had it's some... not we talked about this, but if you were, like, decked out with literally every... Some kind of thing from everything, could you make it almost bearable? So if you had, like, a really, really nice artifact from every single other element, could you almost bear it? I mean, originally when we were planning this, I said, no, fuck you, you die. Okay, so I was just curious. All right, cool. That, that's it, fair. It's too so much, how does it's too much kickback? Yeah. So how much the, does the this... items would just explode? Yeah. So how much? So what is this chart for? So this is the distance away. So technically, you could also go the oh, because you're you could, we're only going off fire because yes. we are fire and there's nothing else. Yes. So technically, but enemies can do the same thing. A light alchemist that's an enemy to you could still cast. So it's, pro a, it's can... programmed in the game to work for any of the elements. Yeah, any character, but we only care about the fire one because that's yes. all we're doing. That's yes. why we keep reference. So what's that? the one, two, three, four? So that's different levels. Technically, like you'd only ever go so far, but there's different levels because if you use a more powerful move, you're going to get more powerful. So effects. this is the power of the ability you're trying to cast. These exactly. are the negative effects depending so on how far. So the further away from your own element and the the higher power of the ability you're trying to do. So if this is based off the number, if this thing. is based off fire, why is there even all the water categories there? Because other alchemists can do it. Yes. But to me, this doesn't exist. Yes. So, yeah, we we had to create a generalized. Kickback. This is mostly for lore. Yeah. Yeah. Other characters are going to use. So it I want to. Ca I'm fire. I want to cast a level one earth spell with no assistance. I will become blind and be. I will become blinded and become heavier, and then I get the spell. Basically, yeah. <clears throat> so and it's it's again if you're just trying to yeah that's just a general idea. Um, and the stronger you go, you're going to start kind of going up. And there's no, like, set number as far as the lore goes. Yes, obviously, as far as the engine goes, we're going to have to come up with set 
numbers. Well, that's why one, the one through four yeah. makes sense. That way, yeah. if you're trying to cast a level three earth spell, these are the two things you're hitting. Yeah. Because you're yeah. going at level three, you know, level yeah. three power through them to get there. At that point, <clears throat> you start getting dangerous at this point. You're permanently blinded. Like regular blindness. We also have pain and like bright blindness. Like you're constantly looking at a flashbang. That fucking suck. Like, that's why I had, I had to specify bright blindness. I was like, what the hell is that? I'm like, you're staring at the sun constantly. You're still blind. You can't your, see shit. Your retinas are burning. But you see burning. brightness. Yeah. Um, well, here's my I thing. I like you... mind the best. Headaches. Oh, yeah, 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 whatever. Distorted vision. Hearing voices and schizophrenia. Mind is fucked up. It's OP. But Jesus Christ. Interesting. So these are the negative effects. Mm -hmm. Correct. So are you? So if you have an artifact, does it also have to be of a certain power level? Technically, it, for as the far coding. as the coding, yes. For the so my question was like, if you wanted to cast a so, level two spell and you had a level one ring, you'd only take the effects of level one instead of completely yes. getting rid of them because your level one ring only just make, you still cast a level two, but you take the level one effects. That mm -hmm. and it has so many uses. uses. So on top of it being X amount of protection it would only have so many uses of protection and, each le and, and if you go up in power i assume it counts as more uses because it's stronger relatively yeah so like a level four ring for instance a level four light ring would would let you cast a power you you'd be able to cast you'd be able to cast a one two three or four power level light and not give a shit until it breaks and which if you think about it, it might have less uses because it's more powerful. That's true. Well, my, my, my point was if you have a level 4 ring and you cast anything in the light category, nothing matters. If you have a level 4 light ring and you cast something in earth, you're only going to take the level 4 earth effect, not any of the light effects. Because the, the light ring protects you from the light, but not the earth. Yes. And, again, the whole reason yeah. why you take... You insta-die on water from it's fire... Because you're going to go this is, way and this way. You you go every way. A level a level a level one trying to cast a level one water spell being fire would mean you are temporarily dark blind, increased in weight, and you experience vertigo, and you have a headache, and you get dry mouth and unquenchable, and then you die. Yeah, every and then you die. Because re yeah. remember, you're, we're we're starting here, so we're either going this way or we're going I this mean, way. At yeah. that point. If you're ca casting your opposite effect, I would even say you get a kickback from your own element, because fuck you. <laughs> right? Fuck you. Because <laughs> fuck you're you. You're cool. Fuck you. Uh, yep, you get fever and hot Yeah, so if you try too. to cast a level 4 earth spell with a level 4 uh, you're light dead ring. halfway through. Just fuck it. Yeah, <laughs> so you're still going to be petrified, but you get the ability and, effect and have no light effect. Petrification is a little rough, though. Like, that's instant death, isn't it? Petrification. Uh, basically... It turns your. It, I mean, it, so is a collapsed lung. Come on, there. <laughs> you can survive collapsed lung. What the fuck are you talking so, about? Spontaneous third degree burns, schizophrenia, permanent drowning sensation. That's not a fun one. <laughs> no, uh, petrification can technically be cured. Yeah. Uh, well, can, technically, petrification is the solidification of bones being replaced with sediment. Yeah. It basically replaces your bones with rock. Yeah. Basically, it's gotta hurt. <laughs> yeah. So you're still alive, it just fucking hurts. Everything hurts. It plus, hurts all the time. Plus permanent pain and bright blindness, so you can't see what the fuck's going on. You're drowning. I love this. I love the spontaneous, like, you're gonna spontaneously just get a burn somewhere. Yep. I think that's great. Yep, baby, I love you so much. <laughs> <laughs> right? Oh, sorry, it just happens sometimes. Oh, so, yeah. So permanent is, in fact, permanent? Like it just, Yes. Yes. So you're saying so basi so basically the gist of this chart is if you're gonna try to do a level three or four ability, you need some kind of ring to drop it down to the two three. Or, or another alchemist to yeah. fill you it. You want other alchemists. That's the whole point of yeah. that. Because an alchemist if you have an alchemist, you don't they don't have use counts. And you can do one through four, it doesn't matter. Exactly. Because they'll negate they, all. Exactly. Because they'll as take they the belong to it. that element. <clears throat> As long as they belong to that element. Yeah. If you're a light alchemist and I want to do a light spell, I can channel my power through you and do li as many light spells as I want. Yeah, ba we basically got... you're basically like linking to them and saying, hey, give me your strength. With, Here we go. With, so The rule so being that we have to draw some kind of ritual a, or it's something. It's a ritual. We yeah. can do it. 
it's not like instant cast because I'm holding your hand. I can cast yeah, yeah, a no, light spell. Yeah. We're gonna it's, need to sit down with some chalk real fast. We and... we have to create a ritual to be able, so it's gonna <coughs> take some time. But I mean, then you can do more powerful spells, especially if you have more people channeling it. You can you can do more. You could tend to, you could technically make something in it to where. You could um you could make it to where if you're if someone if you're gonna cast a light spell let's say and you get three other light alchemists in the ritual for you to cast it because you're not the element the spell you're trying to cast should be more powerful because you're channeling more than one alchemist to that's, do it. That's a bit much coding there, but I, I mean for lore's yeah, sake, not for game's sake, because. Uh, at this point, there's only going to be two to three other characters that ever join your party. Mm -hmm. So, so I so I assume if you have someone in your party and you want to cast a light spell as Catherine, you're going to take a turn to create the ritual circle, and then next turn you get to cast it. Yes, and two, we also have to add in the ability for Catherine to learn a light spell. Yes. So. That is a possibility, but you'd have to get like some sort of scroll or sit down with somebody to actually learn how yeah, to do it. That makes sense. You can't so, just like. I want the do fucking it. ice spike, dude, but I can't because it's water. Mm -hmm. so, ice spike is busted. <clears throat> yeah. Now that uh, you've changed the like probability of freezing, it's better. <laughs> but like, damn. Uh, I think ice spikes. What's ice spikes freeze percentage right now? Is it like eighty? It was. It was 50. It was fifty. It was. And now it's. 50. Down, I think it's twenty now. 20% chance. 20% chance to freeze? That's fair. Yeah. I was going to say 10 to 20 is so probably a fair number. every single uh, alchemy move has a common event. It sets the value of a variable to the actor ID and the enemy ID, which tells this common event called burn, the same as the move, mm -hmm. who, is using the, who is using the attack, if it's an enemy or the actual actor itself. Um, at that point... It also it looks then goes... for the the weaknesses and such, so it knows like if you're a water alchemist, like it goes around the circle. Well, first, and does it the checks whole and says, thing. "Okay, if it's Catherine doing it, nothing happens because it's burn. It's a fire, fire alchemist." But as we start getting to enemies that know this move, we're gonna add the enemies under the enemy ID, whatever enemy it might be, and tell it, "Okay, this enemy." Because it, we know that this enemy is an Earth Alchemist, so we can add the appropriate effects that this. Because Earth so the the enemy is going to have an, when you set the enemy ID, it's going to pull the information and be able to adjust technically, for weakness and technically strength no. and neutrality. Technically, no, because we, we know which enemy it is. We know what they are. So you have to set it. The we game have doesn't. to set it. Okay, Every that's fair. Every single enemy we add, basically, whenever we add an enemy that knows the move burn, we add it to this if we need to. If they would have negative effects, then we add it to this. So if if I'm gonna use burn on an enemy, and if that enemy is go, it ha, and if that enemy has a strength against fire, you'd put it here to apply it, right? You're saying if the that enemy ID just, is that, something. This is just for using the using the move. Yeah. If an enemy is going to use the plugin burn, itself, calculates the the save percentages. The damage, yes. Yeah. So the, this is only for starting our calculation of like who's using it. Oh. It's it's a little extra, but just in case like we do a DLC character where you get to become let's say Quinn Spike and you can use Ice Spike and whatnot, we still wanted all of our damage counters to not revolve around Catherine, but now be able to revolve this That's way. You want you like want this. them to be able to revolve around whoever is casting the spell. Exactly. Yes. So, so every time whether we it's add an enemy a skill or you, to an enemy, we add them to the move that skill. We add the enemy to this. And in addition to adding the skill to the enemy, we add the enemy to the skill. So because well. this is common event, this is who's using it, correct? Yes. Not who's being who, common not who events it's are globally available events. So a common event is like one of these events, but they can happen anywhere. You can trigger them anytime from anywhere. You don't have to trigger them. You can do it in a battle. You can do it in. Whatever. So, so you're saying that that list of things under burn is basically like who is casting the spell? Yeah. So it can adjust who is, for who, exactly. who is capable of casting it so we can take in their 
resistances. Uh, if I more resistances, so we, it only cares about who it's hitting, not I, who's casting. I know, yeah. but we can take into account all their data, mm -hmm. whether they have said item equipped or mm. this or that. It it gets us because hey, that person's I, casting it. Once I start getting into other stuff, like or say wind moves, when we start making wind moves under Catherine, I'll start going okay. I'll add another if statement. If is equipped uh, the ring of flying or, or whatever, the ring of clouds or whatever we fucking call it. And then there's this. Otherwise, this. So you're and saying if, if if they activate, if they cast wind, if if you cast wind and you have the ring, it's stronger. Otherwise, it's a normal wind attack. Well, or it, vice versa. If you cast a wind attack, you're going to have these side effects for using the wrong alchemy. Otherwise, you're, if you have the ring, then you'll be fine. So the oh, ring. oh, you're saying ring. if so, actor ID four is Catherine, much, right? This four this, is specifically for this Catherine. This common event, yes, the four is specifically Catherine. This common event is just for determining side effects for the person that used the move. Gotcha. Yeah, that's sorry. all this does. Sorry. It's, so so it basically, it's saying if you have the ring, no be, side effect. Otherwise, we have you have this side effect and you side still effects get effects for moves. We had to create something custom. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so yeah, 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 yeah. The event, every time you use the move burn, it sets game variables. 78 is the variable for the actor casting it. 77 is the variable for the enemy casting it if it's an enemy. And it also runs the common event burn. With those variables. Correct. And when it so runs it with those it variables... It, <clears throat> it checks the actor ID, which is the name of the variable. If it's 4, then it does this. If the enemy ID is not 0, as we'll just what I have it for now, uh, then it does this. Um, and those are what and then currently at the end it sets it back to zero. Yeah. So if any other person casts it, say an enemy, another person on your team, Queen whatever. Spike. If any other person casts it, then and then they only go. only because we don't have to set every single move for every single enemy. Whenever we just add, it's that only the move, people that can cast it. Yeah. So whenever I add a skill to that enemy, I also add that enemy to the skill. Yep. I don't have to do it for every single person and every single move. Just the ones that are designed to have that move. So I could give <coughs> Quinn Spike a <coughs> lightning attack right now, and then I just have to add Quinn Spike to that one move. And to the lightning attack, saying he would have potentially a negative effect if he doesn't have something equipped for it. Yes. Exactly. Yes. So, so this is setting seventy-seven and seventy-eight to wh who's casting it, whether it's the player exactly. or an enemy. And yep. because of that, when it goes into the events the actor ID or the enemy ID is going to be set based on who's yes, casting and it. you can see it much more easy if I do. So spacebar modifies. It's literally the 78 is titled actor ID. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shot. It's just, actor ID is just the title of that variable. Yeah, I, I understand what it means. Yeah. No, I got it. Um, and then obviously at the end it sets them both back to zero and resets them. Because if it doesn't reset them, then you don't want accidentally two things to happen. Yeah. Because it's you always to have to reset the things you've done. Because if you don't, it keeps that permanence, and yeah. then you have a problem when you try to do something exactly. else with those variables. Yeah. You always so have to I clean up your mess. Set back mm -hmm. Unless zero. it's unless it's like the variable for the alignment, it needs to be fixed after you exactly. Used it. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so at the end, it always sets them back to zero. Because, um, for example, if it try if the because it's only looking for the caster. So if it tries to grab the caster's actor ID, well, that doesn't exist if it's an enemy. It's just going to throw back a zero because it doesn't exist. So if it grabs that, that way, it, we don't get an issue with that. So that's why the enemy ID says if it's not zero. That way, if any enemy is casting it. It just does. It starts that line. Well, Otherwise, no, it knows that it's are, are the Are the enemy characters in the game going to attempt to cast spells outside of their element? If we program them to, yeah. yes. When okay. I honestly think I'm more gonna. It'd well, be kind of interesting. Well, the reason why I say this is because uh, if, if, you, if you don't, if you only have them cast the things, then enemy not being zero is always true. Because yeah. if an enemy's casting it, they should be. They're going to be allowed to cast it because they're never casting out, so they don't need a negative effect. Yeah. So you get to put in things for specifically. Yeah. You don't have to put things for every specific enemy, just that if the enemy's casting it, they're allowed to. Yes. You don't have to add anything to the enemy category until you start trying to branch outside of their elements. Yes. Exactly. Okay. That's yes. why we individually <clears throat> do it. And that we can way add we can the, the probability for everyone. Yes. For each enemy, we can add the probability that they use each move. 
So we can give it so that <coughs> Quinn Spike knows how to do this light move, but only does it 5% of the time. So that's the... Because the game doesn't know that this common event's going to run. I mean, it does, but the, as far as the game's AI the, knows... The logic, the logic the moves, doesn't actually doesn't know, know that, that it's going to hurt itself, mm -hmm. as far as the game's AI knows. So that's our way of saying Quinn knows that it's going to hurt himself. He's only going to do it 5% of the time. Yeah. So... Can you set, like... Can you, can you set an enemy... I don't know how it works, but... <clears throat> can an enemy be told to do a move based on specific variables? Yes. Like, you could be like, we hey, if the enemy a... is at a certain level of health, so yes, the sure. probability of you using this, of them using this move so, rockets up yep. because it's a strong move and uh, it's going to hurt them. Here's Quinn Spike. <clears throat> here's a mind move. Um, okay, so the rating would be like a 3. His HP could be whatever percent. Uh, he could do it on specific magic, specific turn. If he has a specific state applied... Uh, the party level is whatever or above. So, I mean, Catherine's the only one in the party. So if I say uh, level... Catherine's level 10 or above, he'll use a certain move. Yeah. So if you overpower yourself, I can have Quinn do some extra moves that he wouldn't normally do. Oh, that's cool. Or if So, like, basically you could be like, hey, the probability of Quinn using a move that would damage him when he's over 50% health is really high. But as soon as he goes below 50%, he doesn't want to do it anymore because it's going to damage exactly. him so you don't let him do it anymore. Yeah. Exactly. But he has a he has a chance of doing it while he's over a certain health. Mm -hmm. Okay, exactly. so that, that's great. Yeah. yeah. So you can do all those parameters. Like, uh, for the first Queen Spike battle, on turn 7, every single time he does escape. He leaves the battle, he runs away. Mm -hmm. If you get to turn 7 at all. Which so, I did, we did. If you yeah, remember. So I actually that's, lived long enough. That is what he'll do. He will just run away. Uh, he won't fight anymore. And I mean, it's it's the same conditions for whatever move I have him do. And escapes just in a move. So he leaves. Yep. yep. But then I can, I can also say his attack element is water. So that way I, I mark his... Uh, his element and then like here's his damage rate is element rate fire is times 200% it really hurts mm -hmm. because so now that you fix that thing in the plugin would his old save technically have worked now probably no anyway yeah so that's how that's going to work in engine but at least lore. you can actually access alchemy moves again Yay! Mm -hmm. Dude, is there a system in place for learning more moves, or I assume that's so? Not those yet. will be level based right now. Level but... based or so you've given me alchemy and the burn thing, but you haven't. I, there's no in the game skills. right now. There is no way skills. for me to get the rest of these. Actually, yes. So if you go to skills, <coughs> uh, uh, I'm sorry, no classes. Yes. You're an alchemist, so you actually learn. Uh, scorch at level eight. Oh, it, level oh, it is. Nine. Okay, it sweet. So yeah. only those are put in right now, and then um, under like let's say a scroll or a specific quest or whatever parameters, I can force learn you a move. So, I know you can do that, like debugging. I was wondering if it was no, no. like I was saying, like in the story, let's say Catherine talks to this person, does whatever thing, and they're like, here. I'm, I'm going to oh. teach you how to use this skill. Oh, like she I... meets a light alchemist and she help, does a side quest for them and the reward is them teaching you an, a, a, yes. a move. And so There's I just... Also, <clears> I you just force you learn. Yeah. And you force learn the light. Yes. So now you need to find either either take the bet, take the L and mm -hmm. cast it, depending on what it is, or you, do a, you have a light alchemist in your party or you find an item. Yes. That's awesome. The whole system's in place... We just haven't done anything things. with it, yes. and not, yeah. and we haven't fine tuned we, it yet. Yeah, we yeah. had an entire stream or two about this entire system and well, developing it. We came up it. with the entire system because we're like, we need to come up with something unique and different, and how it's all going to work. We sat here and wrote that entire book of alchemy on stream. Nice. We wrote up, and that's like, why we, we had the make... whole circle. That circle is actually made from one of our viewers creating those elements for us. 
Nice. Those pictures. Yeah, because we were coming up with all like the sub tiers. They look so bad when we did them. Oh my god! I wish I could. <laughs> we'll show him. We have it. We have it here. That's somewhere. Show him. Was just scroll up in the Discord. That's all you gotta do. I think. Uh, it's under art. I know it's under fan art. Oh, but that not. that was that one. Um, I don't Where's know where we put that. Shit. Is it just in the? Maybe it is just in uh, the drive, and you're like artwork old, or maybe I don't know. Yeah. It was so bad. I'm just like I'm just gonna draw something that we can vaguely tell what it is, so I so we can know. I'm glad I drew it so bad, cause otherwise, uh, I think it was Revan Master that drew him, right? I think so. I think we did keep the old ones on the... Mm -hmm. I see. So Burn, Scorch, Flare, and Sea of Flame <coughs> and Explosion are the only ones that actually have events. The other ones exist but don't do anything. Because they're not programmed in. Yeah, yeah that's what yeah. I... Yeah. See, because like, the effect doesn't have a have an yeah. effect because you haven't linked it to one. Yeah, but... But like, technically, Explosion yeah. technically does... And then, you know, yeah, we'll Sea of there, Flame though. doesn't funny. You haven't linked these funny enough. Like, Sea there, of Flame. So go ahead and do Scorch. What? And then go over to Effects and double click in an empty spot. And then do other, I want to say, uh, Common Event. And click it. And then go find Scorch. Oh, here, hold on. Here's our terrible here. images here. Yeah, here, look. This is how horrible it was. Uh, <laughs> view and extra. nice. That's, I mean, like it got the point across. That's the point. But, that is the point. But it was so. But it was really supposed to be like a really rough draw. That's look at that. fucking hilarious. Look at it's the comparison. <laughs> that's really funny. So we were drawing these on stream, and they were just like, oh. Hold, Hold on. on. <laughs> That's really bad. Let me just... Uh, okay, from there, you just have to press OK. I don't necessarily... We're probably not going to save it, though, because I don't want to over. I anything. I don't have done. anything done oh. on here. I think... I did Flare guess have guess I changed one? something. Yeah, but Flare and Sea of Flame, yeah. Flare also has one. Technically... Oh, shit. This is the only spot where these still exist, actually, because they were made in Photoshop. Yeah. How did you get to that? What? What we the were gear? doing. Oh, this? Oh, this! Yeah, I have to redo Scorch. Which is fine, because I remember what it was. Oh, sorry. Oh, it just remembers it, period, so it doesn't matter. You didn't close the engine, so that's why it auto-filled. What the fuck? Why does it keep saying it's... it's I closed it, so okay. it was updating specific files. Well, luckily, it's remembering that I ad added yeah. Scorch, so it, it'll find it. And then when I do Flare... It's going to default to Scorch and Flare's directly underneath it. And then when I do Sea of Flame... It's the same thing. Just it's the same up. thing, just one more down because it remembers where you left off, which is nice. Yep, it does that for all the uh, switches too. Yeah. Sweet. So if, if you're programming a lot in the switches, as long as you don't close the engine, it'll save exactly where you It'll remember you that you're in this area so you can keep going. Yeah. 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 It's nice. Well, guys... It's nearly 10.30. We've been live for uh, nearly four hours. I think we're going to call it. Um, you guys have been awesome today. We had nearly 10 viewers. We probably did hit 10 and I probably didn't see it. It's been super good. We've fixed a lot of stuff. We really appreciate Elijah being here. Guys, for the new ones here, um, we stream every Tuesday uh, evening, 6.30 Eastern. Uh... Until then, you can check us out on our Discord. We are very active on Discord, us and the whole community. We play games from time to time, stuff like that. If you're looking for someone to play games with or help you with your game, check out our Discord's link below. Um, also, check out our website, which has links to the Discord and everything else. Um, so, seriously, just... Uh, What's just your... Elijah. There. Uh, nope. It is... 
He just said it. One second. We'll earn this. Um, check out our website, though, on HingeLLC.com. It has links to everything else. And we'll see you next time. Bye. 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 See you around. Oh, shoot.